All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please let me know if you have any problem from your side. Uh, today, you know, we decided to have uh, time for us, taking a break from all crazy stuff, and, uh, you know, to enjoy the time and the season of Christ. Uh, some people asking about the music. Well, our choices of music is limited because of copyright. So as you know, I'm not a radio station. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we have, you know, I purchased some music and I have to pay for it. It's not for free. Otherwise, YouTube will be all over you and you will be in trouble. So we have some music we can use and this is what we have. Anyway, today is very good and tomorrow is very good and the day after is very good and a thousand years ago it was very good and two thousand years ago it was very very good Christ coming to the earth is a special day it's a time when everything change between the past the end civil world and God is inviting people to be civil to be loving to be giving to be a real human so Christ he brought to us a lot of gifts and one of the best things of Christ additional to salvation for sure is happiness you see since I was a child and I think all of us we are we were, we were born kids one day right I don't think any of you was born adult unless you are Christian friends <laughs> so when we were kids I used to wait for the Christmas really badly I mean I count even hours and when when the, if there is ever a chance to see snow because you know we live in the Middle East and snow is not something very much popular that was like amazing thing to happen especially if it's a Christmas so Christmas for some reason even if you are a child who know nothing you don't even know what Jesus mean what who is Jesus you are just a kid but you have a special joy you see that the whole house have different feeling the whole family the neighborhood your friends everything is different so Christmas is wonderful and Christmas is a joy and this joy is not about food and this joy is not about a tree as some people think you know this is the tree it, you know to add some uh, let us say uh, the feeling of uh, being happy uh, a tree you decorate is just a uh, react of your happiness it's not the happiness it's a reaction of your happiness it's the same as when your mom she make cookies for you because she is happy from what you are doing at school so she said to you this is your cookies and now enjoy it you are a good kid right so uh, Christmas always is something special never was normal and will never be but Christmas is not only about family joining together and we you know uh, we make like a nice meal and you know some many religions they practice those things you know like the family gather in their holiday and they eat until their stomach is so full and then we snore and sleep that is not what the Christmas is about Christmas is a time when we remember people who've been forgotten Christmas is a time when Jesus said I was a prisoner and you visited me there's a lot of Christians they do amazing job the whole year long not only in Christmas Day they visit the prisoners prisoners which you know community consider them criminals yet they visit them and they take care of them and they help them I was hungry and you feed me Christians not only they feed themselves which is, I mean, not a big deal if you do to yourself such a thing, but they feed others. That is a Christmas, my friend. I was a stranger and you took me in. So 
Christmas is not just a day, it's not an occasion, it is a lifestyle, it's a to be with the Christ, serving Christ, and serving Christ with happiness, and each time you serve someone, a human like you, you are serving Christ. Christ, he do not need you. He is not hungry, he is not poor, he is not prisoner, he, is, he don't need you. But when you do it to those people, you are doing it as if you are doing it to him. And he said that because he want to encourage us to see in every human being around us the face of Christ. To love everybody, even those who they don't like us or don't love us. And this is why actually I wanted to say to the Muslims who uh, we really care for them, I want to say to them Merry Christmas. And I hope they will enjoy the Christmas with us. And I asked them actually to try to try to celebrate the Christmas so they can see how life is different with the Christ. I know that they forbid you from practicing such a thing. They told you this is forbidden, this is ugly, this is bad. My friend, if those people consider Jesus as a prophet, so why you cannot celebrate a birth of a prophet? Don't you celebrate the birth of Muhammad? So what is the fear from? Where the fear is coming from? The fear they don't want you to see the joy of being with the Christ. That is the whole problem. So we invite our beloved Muslims to join us in Christmas and to enjoy Christ. For this is a joy coming from God. In the books it's written that the Messiah is born and he have no father from this earth. And the Messiah, he said, I am from above. And you are from this earth. So the one who is from above, he came to this earth. And he wanted us to be happy. He did everything possible to make us happy. Life with the Christ is amazing, beautiful, warm, and keep you strong. I will open my Skype soon because today we said we will allow. Usually I don't take uh, phone calls from Christians due to what I do and you know what I do. I think all of you, you know. <laughs> so we will open our Skype soon for any Christian or even a Muslim, he want to say nice words, no problem, you are welcome, you know. But maybe Muslims are not in favor of that idea. So I will open my Skype for anyone who is willing or he like to call us and to tell us what he think about his experience with the Christ as a Christian or experience with the, with the Christmas. What he like about the Christmas. Everybody is welcome. Uh, you know, uh, uh, sometimes people, they take us wrong as a Christians because some people, they've been taught wrong information about Christianity. That the Christians, they are people of party. They go to party. Uh, women, they dress like whatever, crazy stuff. Uh, you know, uh, they drink alcohol and they eat pork. I mean, the whole image is like somebody trying to frame you that you are a bad person. You see, I grew up in the Middle East. And I saw that those who wear very conservative clothing, they are the most horrible. Because mostly they wear it to cover something they do. So clothing is not really a sign of you being bad or good, unless you are wearing certain kind of clothes, which obviously it's not a clothes of a woman, she is decent. So yes, there is some kind of clothing is not really, yeah, it's inviting for something wrong. Party. If party for you is going to night club and drinking and going crazy, this is not, this is not from Christ's teaching. And Christmas is not about going party. Party is you enjoying Christ with your family, 
and people who you love. The same as like there is a person, his name is uh, Saint Nicholas. People think that he is not exist. They call him Santa Claus. The fact he is real. He's a real person. This person, he did not spend the night going to party, drinking wine. He was going around making children happy. Look how beautiful this person is. So this is not what Christmas is about. If somebody told you Christians go to a party like at the night club, uh, you know, somebody asked me when the last time, I mean, I'm here in America for, I don't want to say how many years, but many, many, many years. I never been in a night club. Not even once. And I'm talking about when I was in America. I was, I went once when I was in Europe. I went inside for like five minutes, I got disgusted, and I left. It was very crowded, very busy, people sweat, smell is bad. I mean, people smoking, drinking, I mean, it's not crazy. I, I felt really disgusted, so I left. So, we need to separate between some people's behavior and Christianity. But some people, they try to make a Christianity is this. So, people will not like Christianity. The same as uh, uh, Mahmata Gandhi, he said uh, that the Christians are not Christ-like, which is not true. Maybe you met some of them, they are not good to you, but Christians who went to India, especially missionaries, they did a lot of service for the community, and they gave their life even for that community, and they did feed millions of poor Indian. So, some people they try to judge Christ by me. You cannot judge Christ by me. I'm no one. People don't follow Christian prince. People follow Christ. So if there is a bad fruit somewhere, well, the fruit will be judged for its being bad. But you cannot say Christ is bad. If I am not able to follow Christ's teaching and being good as he told me to do or to be, well, that's mean I am the one is bad, not him. So we would like to see people being fair with the Christianity and the belief of a Christ. That you judge people by Christ's teaching or you judge Christ by people saying or doing. For me, I have no better than Christ to follow. And for me, I have no better joy is to enjoy Christ coming to this earth. And Christ coming to this earth, some people will say to you, well, he did not even come in the 25th of December. First of all, we do not know really what is exactly. As an example, the, the, the Eastern uh, Orthodox calendar, uh, I believe they have more accurate calendar of the birth of Jesus. So they celebrate, you know, um, about like a week after from uh, the Western calendar. So this is not about the 25th of December, as some people say to you, they are Christians. This is used to be the day of the sun, worshipping the sun, the pagan. We don't worship the sun, and you know that. So it's not nice of you to lie and to say, oh, the origin of Christmas is the worshipping the sun. Because as you see, we are worshipping Christ. And the day is called the Christmas, not Sunmas. So some, they try even to make a Christmas look bad because a Christmas hurt many of those who don't like happiness. The devil, he don't like happiness. They don't like a human being live in peace. Our Lord, the Messiah, he is the king of peace. Love your enemy. So his birth come to the earth and he brought with him something new. Love your enemy. Something nobody dare to say until now. In the year 2019, and a week from now we will be in 2020, you will not find anyone in the United Nations dare to say, love your enemy. He will look weird, and people will look at him like, what are you talking about? Love your enemy. So, always... With Christ, we have different and a new life. And the date is not really important. What is important is the occasion. That Christ, he came. 
and the Lord he came to ourselves, to, to us, to our houses, to our life, to our present. And with his coming, he brought all kind of happiness. And this is why we as a Christians, you know, we have a duty to share Christmas and Christ with those even who think that Christianity is bad. So each one of you can be an ambassador of Christ. Me, myself, you know, sometimes because of what I do, the, the topic I choose, you know, I might be like the, the perfect, uh, uh, you know, situation to speak about how to be an ambassador of Christ because my topic is dirty. I mean, I look like a butcher sometime who is working in a butcher house and he's trying to, to because this is what I do. I mean, I have to show all the dirt. So I'm working in dirt, and this is why I avoid most of the time speaking about Christ, because the place I am in, where I'm speaking about, or what I'm speaking about, it doesn't fit with his holy name. His holy name should be mentioned in a holy time holy place we cannot mix between holiness and ugliness yes exactly somebody have to do it it's like you know there is a garbage and somebody have to clean the garbage <coughs> so if each one of, one of us he said not me I mean who is going to do it right yeah uh, I don't know if you like the snow in this in the screen do you like it is this snow doing good? <laughs> I'm sure those who live in uh, Indonesia, you know, in Asia, they like to see snow. Well, actually, many of them, they never saw snow before. And you know, the, the, the irony of a human being that we love things we don't have. <clears throat> like we, uh, we wish to have it. So those who have a snow, like me, are looking... I'm desperate to leave. <laughs> I'm sick of the cold. But those who live in a hot area like Indonesia, they want to see the snow. They want to see like they want to see Christmas with the snow. Like we want to see it. Just let us have it. They wish to have a snow. But yeah, you know, this is how a human being is. A European he go to the desert and he wanna take a selfie in the desert because he is coming from a Greenland, grass, trees. So he don't have a desert. So this is amazing for him. So why we are always seeking something and we believe it's amazing just because we don't have it. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I'm trying with my limited English to explain something to you. That if something in our hand, just because it's between our hands, we don't appreciate it. And we wish something is not in our hand and badly we want it and then after we have it in our hand we say oh, i want something else not in my hand so this journey of having something is not in my hand it never stop and that is called the greed of a human being but it's not the greed if you like to go and be in the beach no i'm not saying that I'm not, it's not a greedy if you like to live in a warm weather or cold weather. But I'm saying that even, even if you are in a place which you don't really like much, I'm sure that place there's a lot of things which is good for you. For God is everywhere and everything is created by Him. The, des the desert or the snow the jungle or the wood, the river, and whatever we have around us is a gift from God. So enjoy it and try to live happy. If Jesus says, we have Mr. Abbas saying, if Jesus really said, love your enemy, that means Jesus is better than the Father because, yeah, this is exactly uh, how, uh, how Muslims try to say Merry Christmas to us. My friend, uh, we wouldn't want to change the topic, but it's very funny 
that you are a Muslim who believe in the Quran, who in the Quran says in chapter 5, verse 20, 21, O Moses, go and take the holy land which Allah assigned to you. And when the Jews refused to go and kill the Palestinian according to the Quran, Allah, he forced them to be away from the land for 40 years. This is in your Quran. So if you are saying Jesus is not good as is he is better than his father because of what you said or what is written in the Old Testament, obviously that because of your ignorance. And that's a very clear sign. I will leave the rest for you to describe yourself. <clears throat> you know, when Christ he said, love your enemy, does not mean if your enemy come to kill you, let him kill you. Or there is a guy, he is coming to your house, he want to rape your wife. So what do you do? You open the window and say, hey, my, my wife in the bedroom? This is not what Christ is saying. So the fool, always he takes things in a foolish way. Because he's a fool. Christ never said, let somebody take your land. Or somebody rape your wife. Or somebody uh, conquer you. Humiliate you. No. You see, even when Jesus says, if somebody hit you in your right cheek, give him the other one. He was saying, use the law. Because at that time, there was a law where if you hit the other cheek, which is the left cheek, you go to jail. It might be funny, but this is what it is. So he's saying to you, let him hit you in the left cheek. Stop, don't do violence. Because there is a law, there is a police. But for sure, Jews and Christians and even Muslims, they are allowed to defend themselves if somebody attacked them. So when the fool, he tried to say that Christ, he was not a good teacher. Or he is saying that he is better than his father because his father, he allowed the Jews to defend themselves. That is a foolish statement. And I understand. In China, they say he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. And I like this wisdom, actually. Because there is some people, they insist. They don't want to use their brain. They insist. But this is your choice. And don't blame me for it. All right. We have our brother here. Uh, Bedros. Bedros uh, greeting from Belgium. Uh, we really love you, brother. Thank you for your amazing work. Even here in Belgium, we use your work to share the gospel of Christ. Okay, thank you, my friend, and God bless you. Well, it's a Christmas song in Arabic. The problem is there is copyright. Somebody can complain. Even somebody from those who don't like my work, he can complain to YouTube, claim that this is his song. <laughs> so we will avoid playing any songs. All right? Yeah. Tell me where your uh, the father said love your enemy. You see, truth seeker, this is why you are not an educated person like your prophet. You are ignorant. Because when God, even the God in the Bible, even when they take slaves, they said you cannot take them, those prisoners, and you sell them. Even when a man, he want to have a woman, she is a slave, he have to marry her. And if he marry her and he let her go, he don't sell her. And he don't rape her. He have to marry her. So love in, in the Old Testament is all over. The, the Bible says in the Old Testament, if you find the ox of your enemy, an animal of your enemy, you take it back to him. So some people, they try their best using their foolishness as knowledge. The love of the God of the Bible in the Old Testament is all over. This is why he sent prophets. When he sent Noah, asking people to join him and says, repent and join me in my ark, that is love of the Father. 
So human being, he seek destruction for his own. And then he blamed the father for destruction. Right? If there is any Christian would like to call and share his experience or what he like about Christmas, I would be happy to have your call. But remember, we don't want to change the topic. Uh, and we don't want somebody to take our joy from us. No, actually, I will, I will put the truth seeker away from our channel. Maybe later I will take him because obviously he is unhappy because we are happy. This is a day for Christmas and we will not let any faith cult to be involved in it. We have enough. This is a clean day. All right. This is a clean day and this is a Christmas week and we want to keep it clean. When the topic is about something else, then come to me and let us see how good you are. And you know, the videos is all over of Abbas, all over the internet, calling me and everybody laughing at what he say. Actually, I wish one day I will find somebody he believe in this religion is called Islam and he understand what he's talking about. I never met one and I will never meet one. So my friend, as you see, this is a great example how some people try to make your God look ugly. Christ, after all what he did, and he did nothing wrong. Look, they crucified him. He said, love your enemy. He said, if somebody give you, uh, ask you for your coat, give him your address. Somebody ask you to walk a step, walk a thousand with him. After all of this, Christ is bad. So, if somebody is saying the father was bad, okay, why you don't follow the son? The son is good, according to you, as according to your in understanding. So, what we understand that a false person, he is not looking for bad or good. He is looking for excuses. And he always create his own false excuses. Right? When somebody he steal, he give himself an excuse. When somebody he rape, he give himself excuse too. Uh, all the criminals they say that's uh, you know they why you rob the bank because they are rich and poor. The, the, the excuse is ready, but that will not change the fact that you are a thief. You are nothing but a thief. You are nothing but a rapist. Why you did beat your wife? because she is rude so she is rude you beat her yes are you rude or not yeah I am rude I can be rude I am a man I can be rude she cannot be rude <laughs> so you know human being is always he justify his faith and this is why those people this kind of people who justify their faith they hate to see Christ because the Christ remind them of their faith. You know what I mean? Uh, somebody saying, Speaker Corner today, Abdul saying that you are the terror uh, for supporting Spanish acquisition. Yeah, first of all, this is a this is an idiot, because uh, you know. When we explain history, we do support any kind of uh, violence. We explain history. Uh, yesterday, I saw in the news that somebody he converted to Judaism. He's a Kuwaiti. The Kuwaiti government immediately they announced they will strip him from his citizenship, and they will charge him with a treason. And that means if you go to Kuwait. He will be executed. 
So look who is talking about the Inquisition. Muslim, they practice Inquisition every day since the time of Muhammad until now. So if a Christian prince, he caught history, he says those who joined the enemy of the Spanish, who occupied the land of the Spanish, and they betray the Spanish, the Spanish went after them. That's what they call Inquisition. Today, in the year 2019, in USA, if you join Taliban, you might be executed for a treason. So this is was about a treason, not as they try to make it in history, it's about because you are a believer or not. And they are the terrorists. And look who is talking about terrorism. You know, a person who believe and he follow a prophet, he says, I've been ordered to fight and kill all mankind until they convert to Islam. A prophet, he said, that if a person, he leave Islam, kill him. So they practice acquisition. It is their belief. It's their religion. It's not what we believe. For us, we were explaining history. You know, if you go right now and check in YouTube, you will see Hamas torturing many people and after they slaughter them they drag them in the ground behind the bicycles why because they betray the palestinian and they work as informers for israel who is the one who is talking about the inquisition they practice this every day So it's amazing that the one who follow a terrorist, his name is Muhammad, he is accusing the Christians who follow Jesus who says, love your enemy, accusing us to be terrorist. But I tell, you know, I have to say, I terrify them by my knowledge. This is why those who they all call themselves a speaker corners don't dare to call me and to say, hey, hey, did you say this? And if you start, start answering, they will hang up on you. Right? <clears throat> anyway, don't let the don't let those people take take us away from our joy. Today is a special day, and we have the rest of the week actually to enjoy. And you know, those people always they cannot they cannot refute me, they cannot debate me, so they talk about me in my back. And even when they call them, mute him, mute him, hang up on him. They promised that they will debate a Christian prince, but because they knew they are no match, they don't dare to have a debate. That is the truth. Right? And I'm sure pe people are laughing that somebody follow Muhammad accusing others of terrorism. Hmm? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all right. Do we have uh, do, do we have anyone want to share? Want to say anything about Christmas? You see, always they say, "Can we call? Can we call?" Here we go. We say, "Christian can call." Nobody is calling. Yeah. You know, I challenge actually the Muslims, those who claim to speak about Inquisition in Spain, to say that the one who killed a believer for leaving Islam is a practicing Inquisition. The way they understand it. They will never do that. Are you against it or with it? Are you against it or with it? Obviously you are with it. For me, I was explaining history that, okay, well, you joined the enemy and you fought with the enemy and you served the enemy who occupied Spain for 800 years, enslaving, torturing, killing, stealing the land and the wealth of the people. And then after that, after 800 years of occupation, you expect the Spanish to give you a hug when they kick you out. I don't think so. And then you call it Inquisition. I don't know really what the Inquisition is coming from. What I know that anyone, you occupy his land. If I go to a Muslim land right now, if there is a, something called Muslim land, 
and the, some Pakistani they join uh, me against their own people when I leave they will you know they will deal with them you know what will happen right all of us we knew and the Muslim they practice this every day and I just give you an example this is in the news you can search it a guy from Kuwait he just accepted to be a Jew he converted to be a Jew and right away the Kuwaiti government which is under the control of USA supposedly <laughs> our friends they announced they will strip if this is true they will strip him from his citizenship and he will be banned from coming to Kuwait because obviously if he go to Kuwait he will be executed what is the punishment in the year 2019 for somebody leave Islam in Islamic countries any Muslim can tell us it is the punishment is inquisition For doing what? He did not join the army of the enemy. He just changed his religion. In Spain, those people, they joined the army of the enemy. They betrayed the nation. Anyway. Do we have any, uh, any Christian would like to call us? Will anyone want to share his, you know, what he think about Christmas? You are welcome to call. My Skype is open and I will be happy to have you. But don't, please don't change the topic. How you can call, you can uh, search my uh, uh, Skype, Debate TV. There's no space. Debate TV, no space. Not Debate TV 1. You will find it says Debate TV and then there is, a, you know, uh, I mean, just search for Debate TV, you know, like no space if you see a space if you see number after it that's not me <clears throat> i'm not sure why you cannot find the sky uh, let me see no my skype is open now so how people define me? How the Muslims define me? If you cannot find me, why you cannot find me? That would be strange. Let us see if we change the setting. General. Yeah, there is nothing actually. I mean, there is nothing to change. So you should be able to find me. Here we go. Hello? Hello? Yes. Oh, hey, CP. What's up? Hey, my friend. How yeah, are you? Yeah, um, actually, I'm a, I'm a former atheist. Okay. So, yeah, now I'm a Christian, and, you know, it's kind of, um, I'm trying to find, like, a church, and so i can like enjoy christmas with other believers but for, for now i feel like christmas should be every day you know worshiping god every day and having like that same feeling of christmas every day yeah well you know my friend uh, a church is a is a is not a building is not a is not a, like a, a place have a priest a church if you can't find the good friends who they are Christians, they share the gospel together. This is a church too. So, you know, try to find some people who they are seeking the same, uh, like they have the same, uh, uh, let us say, target in life and uh, a friend with them because if, if your friend can affect your, your, your way, the way you start of life you do. Uh, the, what you think, what you do, what you want to do, what you want to do tomorrow. Because the friends can come with ideas and those ideas can be good or can be bad. So uh, I think it's a good thing if you can find some, you know, be, be, let us say, selective, elective, to choose some ones or some two or three or four of those who they are very uh, close to your belief and what you are seeking. And maybe you can, maybe they can help you to find something they do themselves to. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah, and celebrating Christmas, 
you know, worship is, is there is many way of worship. Like if you help people to understand the truth, this is a worship. Worship is an act you do, serving God, and the best worship is to bring people to Christ, not just to say, "God help me, God." This is this is kind of me thinking about me, you know. This is a worship of me thinking only about me, you know. Just I need your help, help me. Uh, this is very normal to do. I mean, there's no, uh, uh, there is nothing special in this kind of worshiping. But if you worship in a way that you try to seek uh, uh, help from the Lord to help you, so he you can help others, that is the best worship you can do. So celebrating Christmas is about helping others. You're saying uh, helping others, and by helping others, you are helping yourself actually. You see, because yeah. because you know we 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 as a human, uh, there is many ways of us to take our stress from our life. We have guilt, we have stress, we have uh, many bad things happen around us. Uh, so when you help others, you yourself you feel better, because it's like you, you know you feel like you know what, I'm 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 going for a better place. I'm I'm not the same as yesterday, so I am a better human, and I made somebody today happy. So making people happy is can be the best happiness for you to earn. Yeah, all right, great. Right. Yeah, there is there is some people they they have a special joy. Those are special people who enjoy helping others. Like you know, uh, if they see somebody needs something, they don't ask him if he need. Like, I mean, right away he go to him and he say, "Do you want me to help you in this?" And you know, like some people they like people to ask them for help. They like people to beg them for help. Like, can you please help me? And then after you ask him and you beg him for help, mm, he think about it and maybe no. But there are some people, and those are the ones who they already have the Spirit of Christ. When they see something they can do to help somebody, they volunteer and they enjoy it. Right. Yeah, I think I should go back yeah. to my family and friends for Christmas. Even though they're, you know, atheists, but I still got to well, show them, show them what Christ, you know, that today you 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 were an atheist before, and let them see uh, if Christ he made some change on you, because you see the best way uh, to uh, to to do something good is to to be Christian, which means if you're an atheist and you were a bad person before, and now you're still a bad person after becoming Christian, so what? Not nothing change. You know what I mean? If you yeah. if you were a person who keeps saying the, the the bad language, bad words, insulting, hurting people, you know whatever, and okay now you became a Christian, so now you pray to Jesus, but still you do the same thing. That's mean you did not become a Christian, <coughs> right? Yeah, you're right. All right. So no, I, I think I definitely uh, made a change. Yeah. So when when you became a Christian, my friend? Um, about three years ago. Okay, that's wonderful. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure things out, but I'm getting better. Okay. I, I think I changed a lot. Um, I used, I used to just talk to women and drink, and you know, things that don't matter. You know, not loving your family. Yeah, living for, them. living for yourself. And now, and now I, I only serve my family. You know, I, I write my mom. Like uh, cards that say I love you, and um, you know I'm with my grandma more. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that for Christmas. Wonderful. Yeah. Just be lo loving person, love people around you, and be good to your family, be good to others, and yeah. that's how you can because because of Christ He said, "From their fruits you shall know them." Not by saying He is a Christian, she is a Christian. It is the fruit will decide who you are. All right, CP. All right, my friend. Thank you for calling. Thank you, CP. And Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Bye. <coughs> See, always there is a change will happen to you. And there is there is a lot of uh, let us say obstacle will be in your way like now as an example you know somebody is trying to say christian prince is a bad person uh, he said uh, you know this and he said that this is just to make him look bad 
but ask yourself what is the reason why somebody want to try to make you look bad what is the problem with this person and that person if we understand what Christian Prince he do then we would understand why they are saying what they are saying they are angry from a Christian Prince and that exactly what will happen to you when you become a Christian there's many they will be upset from you there's some they will try to make fun of you like we are going to the night club and you don't want to go with us what happened do you have a, are you depressed or something do you, did you see a doctor no so they make it look like if you are not uh, uh, joining what they do uh, you 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 need help you, you have something wrong you maybe you have a mental illness you know what i mean my skype made it private okay let's see where is that where where you can change the skype from private or not private let us see i go to setting i have my skype open it is active notification contact uh, general uh, i don't see anywhere it says it's private where i can change that there's a place you can ch well, let's see um your profile okay let us click here no there's no debate TV guys stop saying debate TV one the, the debate TV one is not mine mostly it's a Muslim person okay this is not me um, I don't see where it says appear in search results such uh -huh, maybe here let us see okay appear in search result try now I just change it says here appear in search result Maybe now you will find the name. I remember it is debate TV, there's no space, not debate one, not debate TV one or two or three. All right. Let me know. Do you see it now? Uh, another, just uh, uh, try another to find me now. Another, try to find me. It should be working now. Here we go. We receive our text. All right. Yes, it is me. You will find it says it's not me. <laughs> All right. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Yes. Siti, it was great to speak to you and I want to introduce myself as Christ of Saviors, uh, what I've described myself in the uh, in following you in uh, YouTube. And it's so amazing to speak to you because I've been waiting for months and years together to speak to you. And I come from a, a Brahmin Hindu family from India, southern mm -hmm. part of India. Okay. And I was saved by Christ in, uh, I gave my life to Christ in 2011. That's wonderful. And uh, it's amazing following you uh, in Facebook and everywhere that I, I'm following you in Twitter also, you can see me there as Molly. So I'm really so um, proud of you that you are able to, uh, <laughs> I'm so excited to speaking to you and I just want you to please give some good advice for me because I really want to uh, get in touch with you and like, how Hatun's sister is with uh, Jay Smith, just like uh, her. 
Uh, CP, are you able to hear me? Yes, I hear you. I'm just listening. Okay. Just like Hutton sister who's with Jay Smith working together, I really want to work with you like that. So I, it's really amazing that uh, I'm able to speak to you and uh, tell you about that. I really want to work with you. So I just want... Uh, <laughs> This is one to let me know because I've been with you and uh, it's amazing. I really want to work with the CP. It's amazing, really. What I do is other thing apart from viewing your um, videos. What I do is I do an audio recording because some of the Muslims they don't look into my uh, page. They don't want to look in the link that you have debated with them. So what I do is I do an audio recording for that. And then I I play it as a live audio in my page. I think you can see that also. Right. And I share it across everyone as a, 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 a public view. And, uh, yeah, but, but so that can, somebody is able to, at least someone should be able to listen to you. You can and download. And seek uh, Christ as a Lord. Yeah, you can download the video actually from YouTube. Maybe this is easier for you from recording. You can download the video. If you have a, a, like Firefox browser, you can uh, search for ads on app and like search for youtube download and uh, you can download videos for free from youtube uh, you can search in youtube how to do it to learn because that will make it easier for you all right yes that, that's uh, that's wonderful so cp i wanted to really work with you can with that thing, is there any chance that i can work with you to uh, expose islam please let me know because i really follow you everywhere and i try to like focus more on exposing islam I'm there in your pages as well. All right. Okay, my dear sister, thank you for calling. And I'm happy that uh, we heard your voice and uh, uh, you share, you know, your thought about what we do with everybody. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you as well. Thank, thank you, Siti. Thank you. Thank Love you, Siti. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Now, the, uh, the, the strange is that somebody is talking and everybody is calling. I mean, can't you wait until she finish? Now, the one who was calling, let us see. Um, because we got many people now suddenly are trying to call. Let us see this person. Um, different person here. Let us see. I hope this is not the same person. Is it the same person? I hope not. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Are you trying to call me? Uh, yes, I am. I've been wanting to. Is this CP? Yes, it's me. You're live on air. Okay, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you, Lord. I'm very good. Oh, I'm, it's, a, it's a pleasure to speak with you. I mean, I'm sure that goes without saying. I'm sure uh, everybody else uh, in your stream, all your followers feel the same. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to, uh, first of all, thank you for all of your hard work and dedication to the cause, sharing your vast knowledge with everyone, and for being the source and the inspiration for so many all throughout Speaker's Corner, all throughout so many other places that I see your work and your words overlap. And uh, it's a, it's an absolute honor to speak with you. Thank you. I'm honored to have you, all of you. Actually, I have a big family, and it makes me happy to know more. I, I wish one day we can meet all those wonderful people, you know. But because yes. because of uh, the danger of what I do, I, I, uh, like, uh, uh, I, I stay, let us say, uh, more safe so I can continue my mission. Uh, but for sure, I would love one day to meet all those wonderful people who, you know, I'm sure they love to, to see me too and to meet me. Yes, uh, and absolutely. And I agree. Uh, preserving your security is really of the utmost importance because we certainly need you. And uh, for you, you to stay as secure is, is very important. So I appreciate what you're doing. And I think that you're doing the right thing. You're taking the correct measures, in my opinion. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope that's what we do is going to be transformed into generation to come. Because remember, you know, we are just walking in this earth. We are not staying, you know. We, uh, those kids will come after us and they need to, somebody to teach them. So I hope that all of us, we are doing the right thing. You know, in the language we speak, like our sister who called from India, she can transform the information to people who speak in their her language. So we have a duty. This is not only my fight against the devil. This is our fight. You know, it's not a one person fight. This is a fight for all of us. Well, I appreciate that. Coming from Serbia, and I'm sure you already know, uh, we have there's a there's a very uh, there's a call to to action within me and other Serbians, and you have been definitely a catalyst and an inspiration for that. And you've given us the tools that we need to bring this to fruition. And and the seeds you've planted are definitely being watered as we speak. And I I really appreciate it. And I just wanted to share uh, 
my take, you know, with your topic on what Christmas means to me and why I love Christmas. Okay, go ahead. Uh, if you don't mind. Sure, sure. Yeah, so for me, uh, primarily, for instance, uh, you know, in Serbia, it has started to become more commercialized in the past maybe decade. Uh, before that, it was more about, uh, like it is still here, even here, of course, uh, in the West. But uh, primarily, it was about, uh, you know, going back to tracing back to to apostolic times of uh, St. Nicholas of Smyrna in the third century, and his work of sharing uh, the gift and sharing with sharing with children and bringing them gifts and everything like that. And that's like you said, like you said earlier, and as you well know, where Santa Claus per se comes from. But for me, when I think of uh, when I think of Christmas, for me, it's a it's a time when heaven and earth join in celebration, when wise men and shepherds welcome him mm -hmm. and get choked up just thinking about it. It's really it's really an awesome time. It really is. It's a time when angels and humans sing together with joy, you know, and there's the, the glorious hymn of laudation that God is with us. And it's a beautiful time for, mm -hmm. for Christians. It's a beautiful time to, to welcome those that are not Christians. It's a beautiful time to show who we are as a family, the church in heaven and the church in earth uh, as it is in heaven. So it shall be on earth. And it's a time when we unite and join together in celebration of our Lord. Exactly. You know, Christmas is a spirit, is not a date, is not a day. It's a spirit you live. It's a lifestyle. It's a it's a change. It's a it's a something touch your heart. Like I heard you like uh, 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 crying. So uh, you know, uh, Christmas is not is not just a you know a holiday where people uh, go and do shopping. As you say, they make it commercial. This is not have nothing to do with Christmas. Christmas is about Christ and about what Christ can change in our life and how that will change the life of others because we change too. So. Christmas should be have an impact on me and my family, the way I treat them, the way I treat my neighbor, the way I treat everybody, and how I can be useful for society. And now, because if you became or you choose to take such a route, many they will go against you and many people will make fun of you. Because these days, if you are a Christian, they will make fun of you. I mean, uh, even those who claim to be Christians, because they don't want somebody to remind them that they are not doing the right thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I notice that there's a lot of Christians that are in the so-called closet, you know, uh, they don't really they don't really speak openly. But everyone needs to realize that we all have our own way of conveying our, our faith, our, our, our love of, of the Lord. And it, everybody doesn't have to do it in the exact same way. But it's Christmas is beautiful because, yes, it's a time for the merchants. It's a time when people are out off of work. Uh, kids are out of school. But that's a perfect opportunity to approach those people uh and act in a way that is a representation and example of Christ. And that's why the Christians have set up so many beautiful charities where they, where they take care of the children, where they feed the homeless. And it's really beautiful that people that are secular, people of all, all other faiths as well, have actually joined in on that regardless of, of, of uh, being Christian or not. And that is a perfect opportunity to approach those people in in a in a way of brotherly love and and show them give them that sort of that portal is open you know and then show them the way show them the way by example you know by your own actions i mean well thank you very much sister yeah. for calling I'm, yeah. I'm i'm honored to have you and to hear your your words and your and, and your say and i wish you a merry christmas yeah. yes thank you cp yeah thank you very much for taking my call i encourage other christians to call up uh and 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 share with the topic, what, why they love Christmas. And uh, I also would like to ask uh, the, the listeners right now to join your Patreon and become followers and or supporters on there because this does not continue unless we all join together. And uh, thank you very much, uh, brother. Thank you, Christian Prince, for all your work. And thank I look forward to, to being, being in contact with you and speaking with you again maybe one day. Okay? Thank you. Thank you thank very you. much. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We have many callers. Let us see. We will take them into the orders. First come, first serve. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let us see here. Uh, if you like to call, just call. Don't ask me, can I call? Just call me when there's nobody is uh, talking. I want to talk to you about translation of your book. Yeah, but not uh, not not now, my friend. Hello. Hello. Yes. 
Is this question friends? Yes, it's me, my friend. Go ahead. You're live on air. Um, I want to say first of all, assalamu alaikum. Um, well, I don't want to give. <clears throat> I don't want to give a lot of details about myself. Uh, I'm a ex-Muslim. I became a Christian in 2008. But uh, what I really want to say is, um, <clears throat> my name is Muhammad. Uh, my, nation, my nationality is. Uh, I'm from Chechnya. I guess this will be maybe the first call ever that you receive it. Um, it's 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 difficult to be open. It's first time in my life that I. Um, sharing my, my, my faith, my belief, um, even without showing my face, just publicly. I want to apologize for my, for my English. Uh, I'm not so good in my English, but I will try to do my best. Um, I will keep it short, uh, Christian Prince. I want to say, I'm a little bit nervous, you know. Um, I want to say thank you for, for what you are doing um, in, this, in this world. Uh, I was uh, looking you are really a blessing um, to, to, to a lot of uh, non-Muslims and, and, and Muslims, especially in many situations, um, in that mm. that part where you don't speak Arabic and you do not know, know that language and Quran, uh, Muslims, a lot of use propaganda, a lot of telling lies, just using that situation that you do not understand the language. It's like the same one. Muhammad Hijabs gives a lot of uh, show with David Wood because of a reason that he know he didn't understand Arabic. He's not so good in that language. That's the situation that I'm uh, facing uh, every day with my parents, with all my um, relatives. When they use always, um, if you try to say something, even uh, the things that you are talking about, real, uh, true things. Uh, they don't even listen because of one reason, and 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 you, you don't. You, I mean, like you don't know the language. So um, I'm really thankful for God that we have today a person, and I will try to use always that option when I say when I see that this man can speak English. I always say you can call. You can call this guy if you have questions. If you, I mean, like you can call. Here is a guy who can speak Arabic with you, and that really helps me. It really helps me. Uh, um, I think that helps absolutely a lot of Muslims also in this world. Um, this is what I was trying to say first and maybe last. Um, so thank you so much, first of all. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that time you are using. And, and what I really love uh, in all this is that you can come in contact with people that that the possibility to call in that you have is really amazing because because the people he, he feels comfort he just can call you and 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 talk with you that that really gives uh, effects impact on 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 people nor it's a muslim or other, another guy so um the second thing it's I would like to ask you, um, um, I'm about now 10 years question. Um, what I really found back in, in, in my journey uh, in Christianity is that um, still that, still that, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I have to call it propaganda. I have, I have no word another for that when a lot of Muslims still using your unknowledge of your of your uh, Arabic and tell you a lot of things that are really not true. For example, I was all the time trying to understand. I have talked to a lot of imams, a lot of imams, and I asked them, what say the Christians in Arabia? Uh, do they say Alhamdulillah, Allah, Akbar, and all these things? And they all say to me, with a, with a special surprising face, more. of course they do. What do you mean? I mean, like we all say, and just one day, um, two weeks ago, I was on my um, group for, for English um, uh, learning, and I saw we have one guy, and it's a priest, it's a Coptic priest, and he's from Syria, and I was really glad that he was in our class, and I started talking to him, and I asked it to him, I said, sir, can you say me, how do you say I was so surprised when he started explaining to me that they that they use nothing in the Christian community uh, who has to do something with Islam. I was so surprised. I he explained me. I have to write it down on my 
phone, I ask him, please, can you write down for me how you say uh, glory to Jesus in, in, in how, which word you use? And I was, I was so, I have it here. Um, so, and I have a lot of writing down here on my phone, just, just for myself, to, I, I, I was really in shock because I explained to him, he said, you saw what? All these people, when I met, they say to me, they use the same words as in the Quran. So I would, I would really like, um, maybe it's a little bit of advice, uh, if you can uh, make a special time for it to explain to people how to live the Christians, which word they use, how they worship Jesus. Like, for example, uh, I never knew that, that in Arabia they call it Yeshua. I saw you uh, somewhere talking in, in a, in a prog video program, and I saw you using their, uh, uh, that name. So that was the first time that I understood that they don't use uh, name Isa, no, and no. and uh, I would really like to, if, if you have the chance, just just to explain to the people uh, because I'm so interested in that. And the Muslims, they don't tell you that, they don't no. tell you that. It's all propaganda. Everything what they say, ninety percent is lie. I was sitting with my father. He's um, he's in in sixty age. Uh, in my situation, my family from everywhere, from my mother's side, from my father's side, they are really uh, religious, and uh, I have uh, I have. I had paid. Uh, I have paid a lot of price in these ten years uh, of my Christian, and I'm still paying that price. I really have it difficult. But I will. One of the moment, if you give me just a fifteen seconds to tell, I was sitting with my father, okay. and there was a guy. He's. He's. I don't want. I don't want to go in detail. It's my relatives, and he was telling my father. He's my relatives. I cannot go against him. He's older than me. My father is sitting there, so I. I was alone. There. It, was, it was a lot of pressure. I can't go uh, against them. So I was just listening, and there was one moment. This guy, it, it's an imam in, in, in our in our community, in my relatives, between my relatives, and he was telling my, telling my father about a, a story from YouTube. Uh, someone met Christian, and so short to be to be short, I saw that video also, and I was just watching how he is telling. He is a respected guy. My father listens to every word what he says. And you know what surprises me? It shocks me. He has turned this situation just another wise. Just he turned the situation and he starts uh, telling that, that, that video, but in his way. So he was lying to my father. I was looking to his eyes and I was asking myself, what is that? These are old people in the age. My father respect why he is lying. He's not a kid of 15 years old. I was, I was all that. I was looking to the face of my father. I saw how he was looking to him, and I was sitting there. And when I drove back home, I was just praying. I was trying to understand how much lies in this culture. I, I remember always that words when Jesus said. If you will be my followers, you, you come to me. I'm trying to explain in my words. You will, you will know the truth, and the truth set you free. And I ask my question: free from what? From lies. From lies everywhere. You have lies in the religion, in the tradition, in in in, in the family. Everywhere. If you find, you can find lies. Lies. It's amazing. I was just shocked. I saw that 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 picture is still in my head. One, this serious guy, because I respect him also. It's a, he has studied uh, in, in in Egypt uh, from from I don't know like Islamic university. So he's a really knowledgeable guy. So even I respected him because he's a relative of mine. I was really listening to him, and then I saw that situation. I was really shook. I was like thinking, he's not a kid. Why he's lying? He has. If if I didn't know that video. I will not react like that, but I saw that video, and the situation was not like he's explaining to my father. Well, you know, uh, uh, the devil, the devil always, he have his own way to make himself, to promote himself, and always the, the Bible is the best way to answer this. What Jesus says, who is the father of all lies? Is the devil, right? So, yes. if somebody following God, he should not be lying to your father, claiming something is not there, because simply this is from the devil, obviously. So if they lie to promote their religion, that will not make them good. And that will make somebody like you leave Islam. So look what happened. 
they, you know, I mean, you left Islam for a reason, and obviously the reason is from what you saw around you, not from something coming from the moon. So you saw things, you saw that it's not right, and you saw that this cult promote lying, and it's not a good cult because good God don't allow bad behavior and people to lie to spread his belief. I mean, you want me to believe in you by lying to me, by lying to me about you? Uh, that's mean I believe in a lie, you know, because if you make somebody believe because of a lie, that's mean he believed in a lie. Yeah. Correct. So anyway, Muhammad, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you uh, you became a Christian and uh, you accepted Christ. And uh, you see, uh, uh, we as a Christians, you said about uh, how we pray. So we say the word Yeshua, Yeshua. In, mm -hmm. in Hebrew, it is Yeshua. So in Arabic, yes. and by the way, this is neither have nothing to do with Arabic. This is about the Aramaic language because all of this is coming from the Aramaic. So in in the, in the Aramaic, sometimes the letter S come as Sheen or Esh, and sometimes the letter S come as Seen. So they bent like sometimes the Aramaic they say the word uh, uh, Sams, Sams, which means Shams, which means sun, the sun, you know, the star. So so yeah. this is the Aramaic language, uh, but because of what we do. Uh, you know, uh, most of people don't understand the language anyway. But I advise you, as long as you say that the problem is you don't know Arabic. I have a page, it's called Arab for a Christ. Arab, and then number four, there's no space for Christ. Arab for a Christ. And there I have many class to teach Arabic. If you practice every day, you know, uh, you can you can learn, uh, you know, you, you will learn how to speak Arabic in less than maybe two months. Okay, that's nice. All right, it's for, it's for free. It's in YouTube, and I, I did that uh, a while ago. All right, uh, I will I will take a look on it. All right, Muhammad. Thank you very much for calling. Merry Christmas to you and your family, and Merry Christmas to the Muslims, even those who don't like what the Christmas is about. Still, Christ, He love you all, and we, we we pray that they will be saved and they will understand what what is the beauty of Amen. Christ. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for calling. Thank you for you. Take care. All right. Now, more people are trying to call. Let us see. We will talk you into order. Uh, don't add me if you don't like to call. Do you like me to call you? I'm looking at my list, the one who added me or uh, they say he takes me first, we will take him first. I think this person he called already. Hello? Hello? Yes, you are live on air, go ahead. Oh, uh, first I just want to say uh, I'm really thankful for that you're doing this and exposing Islam and everything. It's a great... Uh, it's a great way to learn. All right, my friend. Uh, and I think it's, uh, I want to say, I think it's great that you you don't go the route that other, many other Christians these days go and just say Christmas is pagan, you should not celebrate it. Don't do anything with it. That's, uh, I mean, for my research, it's just a stupid myth. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, can you call me back again because for some reason okay let us try now can, can you talk louder go ahead hello yeah, now I hear you good okay go ahead oh yeah uh, I just said that uh, it's really great that uh, you uh, you don't do as many other Christians uh, say these days and just claim that Christmas is just based on everything pagan and you should not Christians should not celebrate it at all well, everybody have his own opinion. So if a Christmas for them is not important, they need to explain to us why. Because at the, at the end of the day, the Bible says, every day is designated for the Lord is a Sabbath. So if the birth of Christ is not the best of the Sabbath, so what is Sabbath then? You see, remember that the Bible says that God created Sabbath for the man, not the man for the Sabbath. So here Christ, he came for the man to save the man and the women. So if we cannot and we should not celebrate the birth of a Christ, 
So we celebrate what? If this is not the yeah. best, if this is not the best day in history for us as a Christian, what is the best day in history? You know, the Savior He came to us. This is this is a this is a point of a change in history, a point of a change of salvation. The the one we were waiting for, He came, and uh, you know the promise is uh, fulfilled. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So anyway, uh, my friend, any, do, you, do you want to share anything else? Yeah, just, uh, you know, I recently became a Christian. All right. Uh, this summer, actually. Okay. And, uh, you, you know, I've been, uh, I've been uh, listening to many apologists and stuff like that. And you're really a, you're really a, a, a great inspiration for me because I think your, your teaching is just really good. Thank you, my friend. Well, the inspiration should be always a Christ, not me. I'm just a person who is trying to share yeah, some yeah. some little knowledge he have in this uh, vast world. You know, I know nothing comparing to what the Lord you know, and I try to share what I know, and I'm happy that I'm able to to help those who need it. Yeah, and I I think it's uh, it's great the stuff that you teach uh, on Islam because I mean I'm not I'm not an ex-Muslim, but uh, I have many. I know many Muslims, so it's good to like, uh, you know, uh, be able to argue with them. Well, it's not about arguing. It's about how, uh, how you know, to share the truth. You see, it's not about we argue. Yeah. It's yeah, about well, learning. I, learning. Uh, that's yeah, what I meant. yeah. Yeah. I understand. So, like, you know, because we are not trying to argue, because argue will lead us to nowhere, but we try to share the truth, and the truth will set you free. All right. Yeah, so, my friend, thank you for calling. Yeah. May the Lord bless you and Merry Christmas to you and your family. Yeah, Merry Christmas, CP. Take God care. bless. Take care. Bye bye. All right, because many people are trying to call. So, uh, we will take them into order. The one who. Let us see. Uh, missed call. No, I think this person we spoke to already. Let us see. You guys don't text me about things in the chat. Okay, let's see this name. Hello. Hello. Yes, you are live on air. Go ahead. Hello, CP. Hello, my friend. How are you? Uh, how are you doing? Um, thank you, Lord. I'm well, uh, very I'm, very, I'm very thankful that you... I lost you. I lost you. So, thank you very much for all your works here. It's very encouraging and it's very... Hello? I hear you. Go ahead. Hello? I hear you. I hear you, my okay, friend. CP, uh, uh, my name is Sundar and I'm from Nepal. And, uh, Ooh, Merry from Christmas Nepal. Hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. Our our brother here is calling from Nepal. Do you believe it? From Nepal. I mean, at the end of the world. Welcome, my friend. I'm really happy to hear you. Yeah. All the things you have done, I've been watching your videos it's more than about a year now. And it is very inspiring, it is very encouraging. And uh, hello? Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. Can you hear me, CP? I do hear you. Yes, yeah, CP. So, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm really thankful. And I just want to say, uh, I just want to put some topic to you regarding our country, regarding the Christian, uh, you know, it's like there are people, or we have a lot of Christians. In Nepal, yeah, I would love to go one day there. From too. the government, we have uh, we have some restriction that if we, if we we've been if we've been found uh, preaching or sharing gospels, and uh, they have like they have some constitution that they can arrest us and they can fine us for doing such kind of acts. So mm. I just want to put you. Uh, put, I just want you to put all these things in the prayer. You know, so. I mean to that, my friend. So there's a lot of people like. 
We, we will. We will. You, you hear me? I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. Hello? I hear you. Go ahead. Hello, CP? I hear you, my friend. Yeah, I'm really sorry because of this uh, poor connection. Yeah, it's all right. Well, we heard uh, you and we understood so you. Saying, yeah. And we will pray. We will pray for people of Nepal and for, as usual, look like even the Buddha, they persecute the Christians the same as the Muslims they do. Yes, but we're like we are the, the government is trying to, you know, uh, arrest the people. Yeah. If we are preach the gospels and share the word of God, they will they will arrest. So mm, they're afraid of so Christian kind of to spread. Are, this time, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, there is one thing in our country that uh, they don't want to convert is that the religion they are following is from the ancient time from their grandfather, father, father. So we have to keep that thing up. And this kind of mentality is uh, like uh, capture all the minds in our country. So I just uh, pray to Lord that. More and each day, every day, more people comes comes to Christ and comes to Christ and believe that He is the only Lord and He is the only way, the truth and the life. I mean, my friend. Uh, yes, I just want to and all the all the listeners who are uh, who is listening to this uh, call or watching this video, I want you guys to put our uh, Nepal in prayer and all over the world as well. So, but I'm, I'm especially representing from Nepal, so. I want everybody to put these things in a prayer and uh, I mean my friend I mean I mean and we will pray for Nepal and thank, thank you independently share the word of Christ uh, and uh, you know bring more people in Christ sure I, and I will be happy one day to go and visit Nepal to let so and, that, and let the Nepal arrest me let us see what will happen yes uh, <laughs> I, 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 will, uh, I would be very very happy if you do that one it's a very beautiful country and uh, you will definitely like it and uh, um, I'm, I'm, I, I will suggest you to be in Nepal uh, once once people there are yeah. new things but uh, if, you, if you can uh, do some changes uh, that would be very 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 blessing for us thank you my friend I will be honored to go there and uh, if I one day I, I'm able I will let you know for sure Thank you, my friend, for calling. God bless All you. Right. Take Thank care. you so much. Take Thank care. you so much. God bless you too. Goodbye. Isn't it amazing? I mean, people from around the world, they are listening and they are learning. And now they are spreading the truth and the knowledge. And here we go. You see, this is Nepal, a country which is not run by the Muslims, yet they are discriminating the Christians and they are fighting Christianity because they are afraid that Christianity will be the, the, the belief of the country. So, you know, we are blessed with discrimination, my friend. We are blessed because discrimination makes us better people. It's not really against us. It is for our benefit. Discrimination makes us better Christians, stronger, the same as iron and steel. Uh, if somebody would like to call, feel free to call. Now there's nobody on, on the line. Uh, okay, how I can apply what Jesus taught to love your enemy because it's so hard. Okay, somebody's saying, how I can practice like love your enemy? Isn't it, is it really so hard? Absolutely, it's so hard. I mean, look what they do to me. They insult me. They call me names. They fabricate stories about me just to make me look like a bad person, a bad image person. But my friend, Hate, hate is something work against you, not for your benefit. Hello? 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 Yes, you are live on air. Hello? Go ahead. Oh, hello. Hey, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you and to much. all our brothers and sisters in Christ too, of course. And I want to thank you for all your time and efforts. Thank you. Thank you for uh, for your care. What, what do you like to share about Christmas with us? I uh, I hear myself double. I 
Uh, the, the, uh, have mute YouTube. YouTube. You, have, you have to mute YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I love Christmas because it makes me think of uh, the light of God and the love of God. And yeah, I just love it. I know. Well, People are nicer in this time of the year. Well, you know, uh, uh, you see, Christmas it shouldn't be only about one time in the year. It should be that something we enjoy all year long. So I advise people to try to learn how to have a Christmas every day in their life. And because, because you can do that. This is not like I'm just saying things. Because simply, uh, Christmas if you is having a spirit. It's something you feel. So if you have a spirit of Christmas 365 days a, year, a week, I mean a year, then you have a Christmas every day in, in the year in the rest, for the rest of your life. So it's something you feel and something you practice. And then your day will be a Christmas day. Uh, you know, there is there is something that's called the art of living. And there is something called the art of death. There are some people, they live, but they don't know how to live. So they are unhappy, even if they have, or they should be happy. Even if they are healthy and they have everything the Lord, he gave them. Even if they are, I mean, the, the things is around them is very nice. Still, they cannot be happy because they did not learn how to be happy. With the Christ, you can learn how to be happy. For number one, you forgive. And that means yesterday is gone. Whatever people did to you, it's history. And you will not carry it in your shoulder for the rest of your life, remembering and memory and crying. And this person did to me, and this man he did to me, and that, uh, you know, at work they said to me, you know, with the Christ, you can keep going stronger. And as if you are refueling yourself every day, in an, like it's like a train going in a station from station to station, but this train never stop, and he enjoy going in the railway. So, Either you are a person who stop in a station and start crying, says life is bad, people around me are bad, life is ugly, look what they do, look at the news, look at the killing, look at etc. Or you are a person who says, you know what, I am strong and Christ is my is, 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 is my provider and I will be happy. The devil like it, he don't like it, I'm going to enjoy it. So enjoy your life, my friend, and make it every day a Christmas day. Amen to that, brother. Thank you, you. too. Bye Thank bye. You. bye. Take, take care. Bye bye. All right. Do we have? Uh, you see, the issue is when people, when somebody is calling, everybody call. Let us see here. We have a person who called us. Let us call him. Hello. Hello, my friend. You are live on air. Hello. Yes, I hear you. Christian Prince? Yes, my friend, I'm here with you. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Thank you very much for taking my call, brother. It's an honor to have you, my friend. Go ahead. It's an honor to listen to you all the time. Uh, I'm, I'm from Denmark. i actually born in Syria. And uh, today is actually my birthday. I got, I'm, I'm 40 years old. Oh, happy, happy, uh, happy 100. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, brother. I, I want to say thank you for, for everything you do. You taught me... <clears throat> You taught me a lot about uh, Christianity, actually. I'm, I'm listening to you, you know, and, and uh, while you're speaking with Muslims, you, I'm, I'm learning from you. I'm learning a lot about Christianity, and, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy, and, and we're blessed to have you, all of us. So, um, so, so nice, uh, and I hope you keep doing what you're doing for a long time. Thank you, my friend. God bless you, and Sorry. God bless your family. Enjoy your Christmas. How, how is the, uh, do you have a snow? Is it cold there? No, no, not this year, actually. Normally we have snow in Denmark. It's always like uh, this uh, is a hot weather, you know what I mean? This is a global but, but, warming. Uh, this year it wasn't, there's no snow, so uh, yeah. it's uh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not missing it. <laughs> we have right. a lot of snow uh, okay. here normally. Okay. Well, I'm happy for you, my friend, and thank you for calling. God bless you. Merry Christmas. God bless you too. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much, sir. Take care. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm actually, you know, to be honest with you, I'm really happy because usually, you know, I don't talk to those who, you know, support us and those who care for us. Uh, always I hear only people who hate me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like uh, I feel different today because like, uh, you know, it's a, it's a kind of a special. It's different. Uh, let us see. More callers. Hello? Yes, you're live on air. Go ahead. Uh, hello, my name is Shavadi. I'm from Australia. All right. And yeah, it's really hot. It's really hot here. The other day it was like 45 degrees Celsius. All right. Sorry. 
what, what do you like to share about Christmas? Additional to uh, what, additional to the weather, it's hot. Uh, yeah, Christmas is a lovely time of the year. Get to spend time with friends and family. Get to go to church and hear and see the um, the plays that they do. Uh, my little sister was an angel for one of the plays. It's a really beautiful time. Wonderful. I just want to ask you one question. Go ahead. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to do what you do as well. And I have a lot of Muslim friends. And we talk a lot. And I think it would be very helpful if maybe, if you have any spare time, if you could make like a PDF or a Word document or something like that that you could share with the rest of us that we could use when we're witnessing to like Muslims or other people because I don't really know the Quran as well as you do and so yeah it would be very beneficial if uh, you could share your resources like if you could show us where to go and stuff like that so yeah what do you say about that yeah well I will answer you um, after you hang up uh, my friend, this is what okay. I do, this is what I do every day in in in, 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 in my videos. So my videos is nothing but a resource. However, if you want to have something handy, you can get my books. My books is nothing but a box of reference. You know, if you want to carry something yeah. with you, you have you can get my books, and they are uh, they are not only full of reference. They are they have reference and never mention actually online. And the reason because it's a okay. book, you know, that you can, online. And if I want to say, share with you my reference in a PDF, I have to spend the coming 10 years just making a reference and post it in PDF because I'm going to have all of what I have in my head in a PDF, you know. So you need to help me, uh, you know, like we make videos. You can freeze this, the screen. Uh, I mentioned something. You can search it in Google, type exact word, especially if it's in English, and you will find the reference. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. God bless Welcome, you. my friend. God bless and Merry Christmas. Take care. Thank you. Yeah, you know, uh, this is what we do. I mean, all day long, we are doing nothing but sharing reference. And my box is nothing but reference. And this is what make uh, uh, Muhammad get upset because I don't say my own opinion. I say what reference says. Let us see, we have missed core. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, Mute you too, please. Hi. How are you? You're live on air. Hi, Christian friends. How are you? I am so nervous. Uh, first of all, I would like to say Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas and Happy you. New Year. Thank you. Um, I've been following you for uh, maybe around uh, nine months, and I have learned so much about Christianity in my 40-some years. It is amazing um, that you teach us about not just about Islam, um, you teach us about Christianity, about politics, about Islam, anything. Um, and I am I'm so nervous. I can't believe I'm actually uh, talking to Christian friends. Um, it's an honor to Thank you, uh, finally get to call you and speak to you. Um, I was, uh, my question is, um, we were taught, you know, as Christian Catholics, we were taught to go to church and, 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 you know, pray and everything like that. But I'm not mocking or disrespecting or anything like that, but there are some churches that need us, that need to teach us how you teach about Christianity, about why Jesus died for us and why um, it's always about you go to church, you do the same thing, the same routine, and you come home. Yeah, a church. That's yeah, a church. It's, you know, the problem is in our churches, especially traditional ones, that there is a priest who wear a clothes of a priest, and there is people who they are the people. But the church was not there. I mean, I mean, this is not a church. The church is me a, as one of you, and we are all equal brothers. You know what I mean? So, like Peter, he was 
and let us say an elder brother for the rest of the brothers but he is an, a brother of the brothers which means he is not uh, he, uh, Jesus himself he washed the feet of his disciples right so the problem is that the priests they are these days they are doing a job and they are not really there to teach they are there to do a job and collect a salary and then he go home and the rest is not really his business for us this is not what Christianity is about Christianity is to learn to ask to answer and this is what the Lord he says search the truth and the truth will set you free and where is the truth he said read the books so priest is not supposed to be just someone he says hallelujah hallelujah or somebody says we pray to the Lord that is something I mean anyone can do at home a priest should be a teacher should be a guide so he can share his knowledge with those who come to the church not somebody he read from a speech book and this is a speech book written by someone else not him because these days this is what they do you know they uh, they read it from yeah, a book written so. by someone about uh, the topic of today uh, so we you know you have to be natural you have to be you and you have to be honest you have to be decent and in the same time uh, you know uh, 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 be logical and be real you know uh, uh, Christianity is not a fantasy is not uh, a flat uh, city which does not exist Christianity is Christ between the people. He used to go between the people, between the poor, and he teach them. Not someone wearing nice clothing, standing in a stage, have a, some perfume, and he have a high salary, and then he drive a nice driving, expensive uh, car. Driving cars that. Yes, and then he go home. This is not. This is not what Christ Christ is about, and this is not really what 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 we need. What we need is somebody humble who go between us. He share with us his knowledge and he is one of us he is not higher he is not lower in the same time we respect him but he is not higher than us which means he doesn't think he is higher because he's a priest that is a christ-like and this is what christianity is about absolutely um i also have uh one question a couple other questions i know there's other callers um i have friends for like 20 years that are um that are uh, muslim okay and we never mention each other's religion um, so, I mean, I don't want to lose our friendship for what they believe and what I believe. Um, I, it would that be wrong to, you know, because Christian, you know, we're, we Christians love everybody. So I don't want to lose that friendship by mentioning, uh, their religion or what their faith is. Yeah. So you do not need I to mention, know. yeah, you do not Go need ahead. to mention their religion. You need to, but you need, but you can share is uh, how like how Christ he uh, he made your life beautiful you know like you can share about you as a Christian that will not be an insult to anyone supposedly right so you can be an ambassador of Christ to the Muslims without uh, like uh, making them feel upset or you know just to share with them your, 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 something beautiful like you know today I learned something something really beautiful about Jesus saying this uh, and you can open a nice conversation with them speak nicely and politely and you will not lose them. However, if a friend he will lose you or you will lose him uh, for sharing the truth, that means he is not a friend. Yeah, absolutely true. You know what I mean? So the, and the last and but not least, uh, okay. I know we we're talking about Christmas, what it means uh, to us and everything. And it's uh, Christ. Christmas um, is, uh, to me, a time to remember, actually, Easter. So when it's Christmas, I remember uh, it's the season for him being um, uh, crucified for us, for our sins. That's how I think of Christmas. And um, one question uh, to you. If, if you were to interview Muhammad, what would be the questions you would ask him today? I will say to him, would you like me to get you busted? <laughs> because the questions will be endless, you know. If I say to him just one question and like uh, he, then he can get away with it. He will play a video for me. So uh, uh, I will say, can I get you busted? If he say yes, then that's it. Then we start, you know, like. <laughs> you see, this is what this is. This is what you need to do always. When somebody open a conversation you with you, unmute, like, me a job. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, always when you open a conversation, uh, God, he gave you a gift. It's called 
intelligence and all of us we have it but sometime you know we uh, because we don't have enough confidence so that that uh, like uh, let's say that gift is not active so we don't use it so you okay. need you need to activate the gift you have which is your intelligent and i'm sure you are smart so always when you go in a conversation with somebody use your gift which god he gave to you you have it and you need to be confident and how you can be confident you know by having knowledge and faith faith alone without knowledge is like somebody he have faith he can walk in the, in the dark but he don't have a light right so you have to have both you have to have faith which means you are brave to walk in the night and you are sure you can do it and you are you, you know your bravery will, will make you do the impossible but in the same time brave with foolishness doesn't work bravery with wisdom and knowledge absolutely thank you so much for sharing thank you. once again it's an honor and by the way i listen to you and i know the callers i mean the people in the live chat would like to know uh, this is Mimi Didi, by the way, <laughs> just to give him a little info. This is who? Caller. They don't understand, I think. This is who? Um, on my uh, screen, it's Mimi Didi. Mimi Bibi. Mimi Bibi. I don't know who yes. <laughs> Okay. Yes, yes. All right. So, All right. So, so it's an Thank honor you. to get a hold of you. And once Thank again, you. I'm going to say this um, in uh, my language. Uh, I just want to say, and uh, God bless you always. What, what is, is that? Uh, did, did you speak Aramaic? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. I noticed this is Aramaic. So, like, uh, okay, so you're an Aramaic person. Okay, all right. So, do, okay. do, do you know our, our father, Art of Heaven, prior? Uh, yes, I do. In the Aramaic, I mean? Yes, I do. Can you say it to us? <laughs> um, <laughs> you're putting me in the spot now. All right. Well, I, I don't want to push you, but if you like, um, because I, 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 I was, I, I was, this, I was listening. Like, no problem. Yeah. That would be a, a Christmas. Uh, gift. Yeah, I was listening. Um, I was so... listening to it before I start uh, going live. I was listening to our Father out of heaven in Aramaic, and I love it. So, if you like to share it with us, that would be wonderful. Okay. Go ahead. Um, أفهم الكوثر هوا عجبونه تغديد بشمية هذا خم أرى هل اللخمة سوقان الإدين شوق طال بناها خطيات تغدرخني شقلا تأنا تمتعد إلى إلا لا بيبرد كان جرابا إلا مخلصة من بيشة سبب ديوخ إلى ملكوثر خيلة وتجي بحث أنا مأمين أمين 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 thank you very much thank you thank you sister that gave me goosebumps. God bless you. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. God bless. Take care. Take care. Yeah, she just re uh, recited for you the exact word as Jesus he said to them when they asked him how to pray. This is because when she said to me, God bless you, I mean, she, when she was leaving, she spoke Aramaic, and I know this Aramaic, so, so I want to take a chance so you can hear it. And you can search for, like, maybe the sound is not clear. You can search for Our Father Art of Heaven, the prayer of our Lord in YouTube, in Aramaic, and you can uh, listen to it. This is in the original language as it is the Lord He gave it to us. All right? <coughs> Hello? Hey, CP. Hey, how are you? Yeah, it's uh, Psalm 23. All right. Yeah, uh, basically, I literally just love to say thank you for literally opening my eyes towards, um, you know, this cult. Uh, basically for the five, five, five years, I've literally been listening to you every single day and I've learned a lot from you. And I would love to say thank you very much. Thank and you. Really thank you, God Lord. bless you. Thank you, Lord, for having yeah. you guys. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the Lord. He says for free, you for free, you took for free, you give. And I have nothing from my own. This is what the Lord, he provided me. And I share with you just what the Lord, he made me able to share. So thank you to the Lord, not Amen. to me. Thank you, my friend. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I also, CP, I would like to yeah. say sorry. And, uh, I think, uh, I, I've just sent you some chat in your, um, on your Skype only because one of the sisters was having trouble speaking to you or ringing you. So I just thought I'd uh, send you a text message. 
okay. see if you'll be able to ring her back or something like that, but obviously, right. um, I'm sorry about that anyway. No problem. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for, uh, for your care. All right, speak. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Actually, I'm really... Uh, uh, I'm really surprised that today, I mean, I, I think I made a good choice to make today is about uh, talking to you guys. I always avoid uh, such a thing because, you know, you know my topic and, you know, uh, I want to speak to the Muslims. I want to hear them. Let us see. Yeah, I think we did call. Yeah, I called her already, I think. Let us see. Miss Viggy. Yeah. Miss Viggy. She spoke, she spoke to me already, my friend. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello, CB? Yes, my friend. You are live on air. Hey, how are you today? I'm very fine, thank you, Lord. And it's a pleasure to, uh, you know, talk to you and uh, to say uh, Merry Christmas to you. And uh, thank you. you for, uh, you know, helping our fellow Muslims uh, and anything you do for us and for, for them. Thank you, my friend. I, it's my pleasure and I'm happy that I'm able to help. Yes, and I also want to add, like, uh, you know, the good thing about you is you not only refute Muslims, you also teach Muslims and Christians, what real Christianity is, is just not about, you know, hating uh, people. Yeah, we lost you. Yeah, you have a bad internet. All right, well, maybe you can call me again. Call me back. And I will be happy to take you. Let me try to call him back, maybe. Yeah, yeah, he had a bad internet. You see, guys, I'm really grateful for all of you saying thank you, but I don't really deserve it. I mean, I mean, you know, maybe many of you do not know that when I do what I do, um, especially when somebody leaves Islam, and accept you know accept Christ. This is my this is the reward you know I'm I'm really happy to have that, and I'm not really expected. I, I'm I'm really surprised that all of you are calling and they want to talk to me, uh, because I thought many here they are just uh, let us say they are numbers. I mean I don't know some people maybe they come because uh, Christian Prince is funny, you know which sometimes it make me upset because I'm not here to come to do a, a, some comedy show. Uh, like uh, comedy for me is just, uh, let us say, uh, a way to shake hands and break ice. So people will listen. Because sadly, a human being, he don't want to listen unless you do something. This is what they call it, like uh, maybe a drama comedy. Otherwise, the comedy is not really my purpose. But I use, let us say, I use what, what the Lord, he provide me uh, so I can get the attention of people who don't want to listen. All right, we have a caller. Hello. Hello, CP. Yes, you are live on air. Go ahead. Hi. Merry Christmas, first of all. Merry Christmas to you. And uh, I just wanted to tell you that I've been listening to you since uh, for about 14 months. And it's been a great blessing because, especially because about four and a half years ago, I had some uh, because of some medical issues, I have been very, I had to stop working and I was just at home. Mm -hmm. And I I can't even do much at home, but uh, 
<clears throat> finding this and the family with you has been a great thing and it's helped me learn and I look forward to it every day. And it also helps me to share with other people uh, because God helps me. He has given me the gift of seeing how things uh, are and in the world and how uh, which way they are going. So I'm very concerned with uh, this whole thing with how uh, Islam is affecting the world. So I can share better with people I know, although most of them they're uncomfortable or they don't like what I say, but I try to do that. And, you know, uh, listening to your uh, live streams or even your old videos, <coughs> it it's like having, um, you know, you and others as friends in my house. I'm by myself. Mm. So, uh, and, and it helps me praise God. So, um, for Christmas, what it means to me is, like one of my sisters said before, that I think I celebrate Christmas and Good Friday and Easter every day. Because without that, there's nothing. Exactly. Christ came into this world. Because it just, the love of God is just overwhelming. And... It's these three things that just, uh, you know, it's displayed for us and <clears throat> given in our lives every single day. And what I want to say is that what I have learned and what I, I know inside me, that the most important thing in my life is to have Christ. I can, I've, I've learned it through experience that, <coughs> you know, we can lose everything, but to have Christ is to live and to enjoy life. Exactly. You see, like, you know, you said that you, you, you are home and you have a health situation. So, and this is where, this is where Christ uh, uh, will appear in your life because this is, he, he is there when you need him. You know, most of people, yes. by the way, uh, most of people do not need, don't, don't see Christ unless uh, they need him. I mean, they don't see that they need him when they are healthy. They don't see Christ yes. they need him that because they are worthy. But when this is why uh, poor people, they are more sometime, not always, poor people, they are more close to Christ. And people who have health issue, they, you know, in a magical way, they, they come to Christ a lot faster than those who they are healthy. So why we want to wait yes. until we lose health? Why we want to wait, wait until we lose our worth so we come to Christ? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Christ, he can make your life a joy and you will never be alone, even if you are sitting between two or four walls, because he will give you a purpose. He will give you hope. Imagine life without hope. What we, why we will live tomorrow? I mean, what for, what tomorrow is bringing more? I mean, exactly. You know? So you know, uh, people <laughs> ask even doctors, and they say, "Well, how can you smile? You 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 always have a smile and all that, and you know, you look peaceful." And then I can witness, and I say, "Well, yeah, that's where it comes from." Yeah, faith is powerful. Christ, he he provides you with with the energy you need to survive and to enjoy your yes. life. Yes. And it's, it's uh, kind of, you know, I always, uh, you know, believed in Christ. I always uh, depended on him. But then in 1998, <clears throat> one day I was sitting praying and suddenly the words that came out of my mouth were not my words. I wasn't thinking about that. I wasn't planning to do that. I was, <clears throat> the words that came out of my mouth were, Lord, from this day on, I commit my life totally to you. You take me wherever you want, do whatever you want. I mean to that. So after that, uh, every, most of the things in my life, they just broke or, you know, were shaken or uh, things that I never wanted to do, I did. And I... Uh, immigrated which i'd never wanted to do and all that but through it all since then every single day i see how god if 
because his word is true so i i understand that most of us kind of you know we say that god's word is true but when it comes to our everyday lives we often <clears throat> we often um forget to trust that in every situation so for me i learned from 1998 on i learned that okay if god has said it in his word then that is it and i have to i have to stand on it and know that it's how it is so um uh, you know even if everything looks like okay this is going to you know be a shambles or anything somehow god at the last moment does the impossible because i'm trusting his word and he is true to his promises i mean to that so he brings that thing and and you know it's or he arranges things for me or makes uh um, provisions that are just wonderful and they fit exactly what i need all right just well i'm so you know like you know you you see every one of us his life experience can be make can 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 make a book right can make reading mm -hmm. book but the the, the thing is yes. the thing is that uh, nobody is interested in his own book for some reason you know but if you think about it the best experience is your book because it is you who live it and it's you who suffer or joy with that book so, yes, so may maybe you should write you know, a book for me as for me i know that i i would have been probably you know kind of been a really really miserable person if i didn't have christ yeah. <laughs> will you see uh, I, I, maybe after i finish, finish uh, your your talk I will go more and I will explain more about what uh, what exactly I meant uh, by the, the the book and what you said about mm -hmm. miserable. Anything else you want to say, sister? No, I want to wish everyone a, a very happy Christmas. And with everyone, I mean not just my Christian family, but the whole world, because God sent Jesus for the whole world and for the Muslims too. Yes, yes. so everybody. Yeah. Thank you. And I I I pray and I uh hope that especially for our Muslim friends because that's the uh, you know the biggest target audience here uh that they uh, God helps them draws them to him through Christ. I mean. And they they come and uh, join the 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 peace and the and the joy and the love of uh uh god through jesus and we can all rejoice together and also um uh, you know i am very much looking forward to meeting you and uh, people in the family here uh or you know when we are with christ and I mean that. that would be a wonderful day I mean, and I mean we'll that. have fun yes i mean sister thank you very much thank you for calling Thank you so much and Merry Christmas everyone. Merry Christmas. God bless. See, uh if you go and search, you will find there is people who they are very young, they are dying. Not because they are hungry, not because they are not worthy, not because they are sick, but because they have no hope. The West committed a crime against itself. Give, give me a second, please, and I will, I will take. Please give me a second before you call. Oh boy. They will not let me talk. <laughs> All right. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello. Merry Christmas, CP. Merry Christmas, my friend. This is Samuel James from India. Welcome, um, my friend. Thank and uh, um, yes, it's an honor and privilege talking to you, CP. I've heard about. Uh, many people making ex muslims but you are the uh, best person i have come across i'm so glad and happy talking to you because you don't only make ex muslim but you 
you uh, make those uh, abduls come come to the lord jesus christ mm. and uh, and i'm very uh, i mean i don't have words to uh, words to express but i'm so glad and so happy uh, about the work you are doing sir thank you my friend god bless you and merry christmas all. to you and your family okay yes sir thank you bye bye thank you thank you yeah it look like the calls is too many and it's hard to well i was trying to say when your life became empty it is a suicide time this is why you see a number of suicide between young people increase because now they killed believe in their heart they became atheist and now life for them became food drugs and maybe sex and then after that what is else life is boring hello hello too many calls to take yes cp yes my friend you are live on air oh my friend i'm a big fan i always wanted to talk with you thank you my friend god bless you i want to wish you a merry christmas and to all our brothers and sisters also thank you where, where are you talking from my friend what where are you talking from which country uh, uh i live in uh, belgium but i'm originally from oh. croatia oh okay that's wonderful all right well i'm happy so, uh, happy to have sure, you I'm Catholic, but uh, i was only on paper you know i was never a true believer until like 2 3 years ago all right So I wanted to ask you something a few questions to see if I'm a right of am I wrong. Okay, go ahead. Okay, just to give you a little background story, I used to be a bad man. I used to sin a lot, go out, party, drugs, women, you know. Okay. And uh, one day I just would wake up and I felt so empty and lost, you know. And I saw a Bible. I have a Bible at home. It's been in our family for from like I think it's printed in 1954 or something. And I never read it. And I don't know why I just picked up and start reading about uh, Jesus. You know, I went straight to the New Testament. I didn't want to go to the Old Testament. I needed Jesus right away. And then uh, when I start reading. I noticed I got doubtful because it was a bit different than I thought I was taught as a Catholic, you know. Okay. And uh so I started reading, reading, and then uh, after some time uh, I was kind of confused like how are we Christians the Bible doesn't teach us but Catholics teach like a uh, purgatory priest shouldn't marry confession stuff like that, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just okay. Somebody is calling. All right, go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, I asked you. I was baptized uh, when I was a baby. You know. All right. And uh, but uh, according to what I figure out, you need to be baptized when you are born again. You know. and you accept Jesus for real not just okay. on paper <laughs> but truly believe so should i get baptized again or uh, you see but, I... you see if i give you opinion some people they might agree with me some people they might agree and uh, because simply uh, uh, baptism baptism is something the messiah he did himself when he was not when he was uh, like uh, in a young age He was in 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 a mature old older man. Yeah, I'm also in my yeah. 30s. However, so thought, however, why not do as a messiah? <laughs> however, by by getting baptism as a, as a child, already you are a Christian, and the Holy Spirit was there, and I am I'm, I'm sure of that. Uh, by feet. So and I want to tell I, my people. Yeah, I don't think you need to do baptism again because the Holy Spirit is there anyway. And now, for you, you became an adult, and now you accept Christ. and you have the holy spirit with, with you already and uh, you know you are reborn again because you you, yeah. you have a new life and you know some churches understanding of the bible doesn't mean they are wrong 
as an example you say that you should not marry or etc this is because jesus he says the one who can stay let us say uh, i don't know what they say in the word in english like stay without marriage uh, to serve god that is doing better job but this is not this is a choice a person he do this is not an order to follow you know so he yeah. is, otherwise all of us we will have no babies and then the, the christians will be will end you know like christianity so this is not what he's saying this is a choice you can do if you are a person who wanna serve the lord and because having family traveling from place to place uh you know you cannot carry you are a missionary and you want to go you will risk your wife your children so if a person is single it's easy he just have a pack in his uh, his shoulder and he go all right so but the, the, the bible understanding of some of us uh, regarding this it doesn't make them wrong it you know but uh, uh, let us say uh, every one of us he, he see the lord in his way and the lord he will take us in all the ways anyway so you when you see yourself you you know you you became confused the lord he will help you and if there is i'm sure he will send you somebody to answer your questions if you have some but uh, yeah Christ, okay, then um, yeah. my yeah. head was clear then yeah. later you know just yeah. that baptism thing i was just wondering it was yeah. not like you can do you can do but you can do baptism now that will not change anything because simply uh, you know first you believe Secondly, you have baptism already, and nobody can delete that from your life. And uh, the Lord actually, once he, uh, if you remember the one who was in the cross, he said to him, today you will be with me in, 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 in heaven. But this person, he did not get baptism, right? So there is, there, there, there is, there is, you know, your faith is going to save you. But baptism is a necessary in Christianity, for it is something, you know, it is the Holy Spirit uh, uh, joining you and you are washing yourself it's a symbolic and realistic in the same time symbolic act uh, of you cleaning yourself from the past from yesterday same time you accept the holy spirit to be your guidance to be the holy spirit is going to be uh, like let us say the the invisible guide to you in your journey so you accept the holy spirit and the holy spirit is with you already and now you are a believer so i don't see anything missing what is missing now yeah. is we it, it try to read again the Bible, you know, and try to read it not as a story, try to live. You see, uh, uh, me, when I read any book, not only the Bible, I try to imagine the, the incident. Like if I'm reading about uh, Muhammad, let's say, Muhammad, he was doing this and saying that. So what I do, yeah. I, I imagine the scene so I can understand it better, you know. This is why, don't they say like uh, one picture is better than a million image, whatever, I mean, a million words. So uh, uh, try to it, try to live the story so you can live a Christ and Christ can live with you, not only just reading a book. Uh, yes, but uh, I know that stuff, you know, so, because I feel like I have the Holy Spirit, I'm a changed man. It didn't happen overnight, but the stuff that used to make me happy, like drinking, partying, getting women, after, a, when I started reading Bible, after a few weeks, I didn't like it anymore. I would not like to sleep with a girl that I just met, stuff like that, you know, drink, do stupid things. So Jesus really changed your life, man. Exactly. He changes your life. Exactly. And uh, when I had my doubts, I had Muslim friends, and this is a fun story. You know what? You know what they did. See, my brother, you should come to Islam, stuff like that. And first thing they did, they showed me a video of a fake Bible. But then when I Googled it, it was like a fake copy from an Ottoman Empire from the 16th century or something like that, you know? Mm. Maybe Bible of Bar so, It's called the, the Bible so I didn't, of Barnabas? I didn't buy that. Is that Barnabas? But I want to say Muslims are good people, most of them. But the problem is, you know, most of them, uh, they don't know what they believe. They just hear what they're told about Muhammad. He was a great man. They don't read nothing. They just listen to the imams. So they think they are good, you know. They are doing good stuff. They are not evil in their heart. They are just misguided. The evil, the evil is the religion, is not the people. There's nothing. It's, you know, people yes, are the victims. Of yeah. yeah, of course, of course. That's what yeah. I mean. Also, because they are good people, but uh, the, the man they follow it was a con man. It's simple as that. But you cannot talk. I try. Since I got in religion, I try to get them. But like I told you, they just believe Bible is bad. It's stupid, and they only know the stuff. 
Yeah. They hear from other people and from YouTube. That's how they get their material. So I don't know how to reach to those kind well, of watch, people. Watch my videos and learn how to do it, and then you will do it. <laughs> All right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah okay, I won't take uh, Thank you. much longer. Merry, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. And, and Merry Christmas to you and your family, my friend. Okay? Okay, God take bless. Merry yeah. You know, the, the Muslims, they show you sometime uh, a, a, a Bible. It's called the Bible of Barnabas. Not Barnabas, the one in our, written in his name in our Bible. No. This is a fake Bible, and the Muslim themselves don't accept it. So if a Muslim himself, he says to you, this is the Bible of Barnabas, this is the true Bible, say to him, so why you don't accept it? Accept it. Accept it, I challenge you. Go right now, search for the Bible of Barnabas, and you will see it's a disaster, because that Bible says that Muhammad is the Messiah. See. Hello? I know what's happening. Too many calls. Give me a second, please. There is this person trying to call. Hello? This mission impossible. Let us see this person. Hello. Yes, you are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. Hello. Oh, hello, uh, Chris and friends. Thank you for taking my call. You're welcome. Uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, Merry Christmas to you this year. Merry Christmas to you. And many more, uh, many more uh, Muslim converts need to come to um, Christianity to know Christ and uh, I wish you all the best uh, well basically I have a few topics to uh, well a few points really just to just that basically came across me okay. one was uh, in the Quran where chapter 5 116 it talks about the Trinity mm. and the Quran gets the Trinity wrongly mm -hmm. and uh, just trying to get a context of it it seems that Muhammad has seen the Nzara or some uh, heretic, Christian heretics who've had pictures or statues of Jesus and Mary. And obviously there is no statue for the Holy Spirit. So he sort of connected the dots and said, this is the Trinity. So that seems to have a seems yeah, but to be you the see, context behind it. Yeah, but you see, that is not, is, that is not an ex excuse to Muhammad because supposedly Correct. the one is talking is Allah, right? Yes, and there is yes. no way that Allah, he called all the Christian Nasara and those Nasara who believe in a wrong belief, correct? So, uh, uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm grateful that Muhammad did not meet the real Christian, so he got it wrong, so we can get him busted easier. Yes, yes. You know? <laughs> I think that was, yeah, that was like a real thing. And the second one is about uh, the sun setting in muddy waters. Now, it seems, I think, uh, because you have this phenomenon, uh, which is called as a mirage in humid mm. places, correct. in the deserts and a lot of hot places where, where on uh, just above the ground you see something like water. Mm -hmm. It's it's the it's the water vapor in in the atmosphere that sort of turns into water, and that sort of reflects the sun or the light. Yeah. So it seems that Muhammad would have seen a mirage when the sun is setting down. No, no, no. And he thinks this is not, that the, this is, the sun no. is setting down into a pool of warm water. No, no. This is not he. What he saw, uh, Muhammad is a fool person. He is copying a story written in the third or fourth uh, fourth century uh, uh, about about Alexander the Great. So it's a fiction story, but it's about a real person. It's written by a okay. person. It's written by a person from Syria. He's a Syrian, not a Syrian. He's Syrian, okay. written from this person about a real person, which is Alexander the Great. But it's a fiction story. So this fiction story came to Muhammad. The, the, the Jews, they are the one who get him busted. That's why he hate them very much. They ask him about Alexander the Great. Then Muhammad, he said to them, tomorrow I will answer you. Then Allah, okay. he says to him, don't say to them tomorrow, uh, supposedly Allah said to him, don't say tomorrow, next time say inshallah, because there we go. The verse is not coming to you, the answer. And then the answer came, and he started telling them about Zul Qurnayn. And this is, he found this story. And he thought this is the truth what happened about a man. He went all the way to the end of the world, to the end of the west, and to the end of the east. And he found where the sun set, and he found where the sun yes. rise. And it's not Muhammad he's, he, he saw, 
It is Muhammad is copying a stupid story, fiction story. Everybody knows it's fiction, even in his time. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, um, you know, I think I think usually if a Muslim really wants to <clears throat> look at it objectively, like whether you know universally, you might have something like okay, whether it's, you you have the capability to judge whether something is right or wrong. Yeah. If a Muslim is able to see in that yeah. angle, he can really see yeah. uh, the issues that's there in in the Quran itself. It doesn't have to go outside. Yeah. My brother, I, and, uh, 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 we we wanna we wanna just keep this day for Christmas, if you don't mind. Sure. What do you wanna say for Christmas? Correct. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Christian Prince. Have a Merry Christmas this year. Thank, thank, you, you. thank you, thank you, thank you, God bless. Yeah, I don't want to be rude, but you see, I don't want to put Muhammad in my Christmas day. You know, <laughs> we have enough of him. <laughs> leave, 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 uh, leave a Britney alone. <laughs> oh. All right, let's see, there's some people trying to call. I don't want people to be upset from me, I'm not taking their call. Um, Let us see here, this person. <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with this Skype. Hello? Hello, is this Christian Prince? Yes, my friend, go ahead, you're live on air. Yes, my brother, I'm, uh, it is a real pressure for me to, to, to speak to you. I'm calling from Suriname, I don't know if you know that country. From, uh, from which country? Suriname. It is a country of South America. Oh, okay. I never heard of this. Sur Suriname? Yes, Suriname. Uh -huh. uh, you have Brazil and South America. Okay. And if you look at the countries above Brazil, okay. Suriname is one of them. All right. Nice to meet you, my friend. I'm, I'm happy here we go. I mean, uh, uh, I just learned something new today about a country I never heard of it. Maybe one day we can visit this country. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Just, I, I would really like to visit you in person. Thank you, my friend. I would yeah. be happy to 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 go there too. Can you tell us about your country? Because I never really heard of it. Can you tell us something about your country? Uh, Suriname. It is multi multi diversion. Uh, you have mul mul yeah multiple cultures. Mm -hmm. Suriname. You have you have uh, Indians here. You have uh, Africans. Mm -hmm. um, Americans, Indians, Chinese, Ooh. and yeah, many, many, many more people. Sound like in, in this country. Sound like United country, Nation. <laughs> yeah, in this country, you have a mosque side by side with a synagogue. So mm. yeah, people are really to tolerant here. Okay, because the the Saudi did yeah. not go there yet, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, brother. I want to tell you, I was an ex Jehovah's Witness. All right. And no, no, I am a believer, a follower of Jesus Christ. I mean to that. Yes. That's wonderful. Um, yes. Uh, I, I've, there was some 10 years ago, my grandmother died, and uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, they go from door to door, and they also uh, came to my door. And as, as I was said that my grandmother died, they offered me a Bible study. Okay. And uh, they asked me which topic interested me. So I wanted to know what happens when people die. Mm -hmm. And uh, they visited me every Sunday. They came to me. They talk about the paradise. This earth will be transformed in a paradise. All people who are dead will come back alive. Mm -hmm. And that, that really, that really uh, yeah, drew my attention. Mm -hmm. I, started visited, I started visiting their church. They call it Kingdom Halls. And I started visiting their kingdom house. I was baptized in 2010 as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay. And uh, in 2013, uh, I I got internet. And when I got internet, I did some research. I, as a Jehovah's Witnesses, also went from house to house, declaring people what this is belief. And uh, I wanted what I what I. Yeah, the things that I wanted to preach, I wanted to also uh, support it with scientific evidence. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I don't know if you know, Jehovah's Witnesses believe that in 1914, mm -hmm. Jesus began to reign over the over Earth as a king. He became invisible. what? He became what? He became he began to reign as a king over Earth. 
That's what Jehovah's Witnesses believe. In 1914, that Jesus be began to reign as a king over over earth. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they came to that date according to, to some uh, calculation that they made. Mm -hmm. And the calculation from the date that they made, I found out that that isn't scientifically supported. So mm -hmm. I asked myself, if they are wrong with this, what else are they wrong with? Mm -hmm. When you are in Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't encourage you to watch or read materials that are in contradiction to what they believe. So up until then, I didn't do my research. But after I found out that that isn't supported scientifically, I wanted to do more. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found out many things uh, that Jehovah's Witness that yeah, uh, uh, yeah Jehovah's Witness teachings are false. And uh, I confronted them. When I confronted them, it was one. It was me, in opposite of three elders speaking. Mm -hmm. I told I told my points to them. Hey, this is my point. But what what they were hammering? They were hammering. Look at the love that Jehovah's Witnesses are have with each other. They don't go to war. Mm -hmm. Look at the love. This must be a sign of a true religion. But uh, the points that I brought out to them. The side point. I told them, yeah, and showed them they couldn't answer it, and uh, yeah, they had to disassociate me from the organization. Yeah, so what happened? And, to, what happened to their love suddenly? As long as this is a religion of love, why suddenly they washed their hands from you? You know, like what happened to your love? You don't love me no more. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this, it, 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 is, it is a selfish love. Yeah. Uh, long, first of all, first of all. If you read this, the history of this cult, you will see how many times they calculated numbers to make the day of judgment. I know a family who lost everything they have because they joined Jehovah's Witnesses for they told them, the leader told them, their leader at that time, I don't know what his name, uh, that uh, in this date, uh, I forgot what date it is, we have, because they have many, many dates already and all of them they feel that the Messiah will exactly. come and the judgment day is happening, blah, 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 blah. Those people, they, they sold their house. They saw they gave their money out, etc. And then that day came and nothing happened and they became homeless. So Jehovah's Witnesses is nothing but a cult. And the purpose of this cult is to defeat Christianity. You see, they don't target. I never saw Jehovah's Witnesses go into a house of a Muslim. They target only Christians. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's yeah, because right. they are they, because and they are targeting the one who need to be deceived, not the one already is deceived. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, brother. And I don't know if you know this, but once you're not anymore a member of the Jehovah's Witnesses, the members of the Jehovah's Witnesses are not allowed to have contact with you. They are not even allowed to greet you when they see you on street. Yeah, loving people, loving religion, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, after that, I left it in 2014, uh, and since then I... Uh, became yeah i did i didn't go to church yeah i did my own research on internet watching videos on youtube reading materials i gave my life to christ i uh, yeah uh, i confess that i'm a sinner i need a savior i believe jesus christ shed, shed his blood for me and yeah since then my life changed for sure i need to go I, I need to visit the church but the experience i have in the past i'm a little uh how do i say careful well no in which it, church uh, no I problem you see a church is a good to have a church it, because a church is not a building it's the church is having people who are believers so let us say it shows the believers you want to associate with you know with and uh, be careful that they are true believers. that's all there's nothing it's called building you know it's not a building church never was a building and the church never was a exactly. priest, you know. Exactly. From their fruits, you shall know them. Thank you, my friend, for calling and sharing your experience with us. And I wish you really a happy Christmas, you and your family. Uh, Brother Christian Prince, I, yeah, have, yes. I have a question. Sure. Uh, well, one of my friends, I uh, yeah, this, I think I, I don't think this is related to the topic, but I really want to know this. Okay. One of my friends is a Muslim. He's a Ahmadiyya. I don't know if they also believe in the Hadith. Ahmadiyya, you know, it's like a snake cult. So they believe in the hadith when they want. They they wash their hands from the hadith when they want. So dealing with Ahmadiyya is like trying to hold uh, 
uh, like a, a, let us say a so uh, like a soap in your hand when it's wet. You know what I mean? Yes. So they are sneaky. They, 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 they never they never give honest answer. So Ahmadiyya, they try to to fool you using the Bible, but they have no courage to speak about their belief. And the second you quote for them something, they give you false interpretation for something not exist and not there. So when the hadith support their belief, they claim that they are believing this hadith. But Ahmadiyya is a very stupid cult anyway. You can defeat it in two seconds. Those people, they believe okay. that uh, the Messiah, he was married for three years. And then after he was married for three years, he became the Messiah. I mean, who in the world wanna believe in this? And then, the you know, the guy, he claimed to be the Messiah. And then the Indian people in, 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 in his town, they brought him people who cannot walk, people who they are blind, and etc. And they told him, well, if you are the Messiah, do what the Messiah do. He did not. And then he died because of the diarrhea. So imagine, imagine a guy, he claimed to be the Messiah. People who, the, the Messiah, the real Messiah, if you touch his dress, you get healed. If you have faith and you touch his clothing, you get healed. So how you die because of your diarrhea? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what, what, exactly. You know, what, what kind of Messiah this Messiah is? So, you know, they speak to people who do not know what the Ahmadiyya is trying to fool them. But the Ahmadiyya is a crazy city cult created by the British intelligence. The British intelligence, they wanted to have India to join the army. And at that time, the Muslims, until now, they will not accept to join an army of the infidels. So they made this guy come with his new movement between the Muslims. So he, the first thing he said, you should serve in Her Majesty army. And this is the whole purpose of this Ahmadiyya cult. Okay. Yeah. This, yeah, it's not yeah. about it's not about God. It's about they wanted. This is their guy. This is their guy. He was an employee of the British government. He got his salary. Have you ever heard of a Messiah? He gets salary from Her Majesty the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, my friend. Yeah. I, I, one day I want to. Yeah. I I uh, I didn't have the courage yet to confront him about Islam. But yeah. Let him call very me. Soon I think I will. I'll do that. Let Let him call me so we can have some fun. <laughs> yeah, that's All a right. good idea. All right, my friend. Thank you. God bless you. Take care. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. God bless you. All right. <laughs> um, too many calls, and I will be um, CP. Hey, look who is this? How you doing, CP? How are you, my friend? I'm doing great, sir. How you doing? I'm great. Thank you, Lord. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. How is everything with you? Everything is awesome, man. I'm blessed. God's blessing us. We can't complain, really. I mean to that. What do you like to share with us? Just want to say, you know, thank you for everything you're doing for us. Um, you know, you're you're an awesome human being. I know you say you don't want to hear this, but you have to hear it. Uh, the work that you do is outstanding. And as an Arabic speaker myself, I understand what you're saying. And I know that a lot of people don't understand it most of the times. But the way you explain it is so detailed and so awesome that I wish everybody would speak Arabic so that way they could understand exactly what you're talking about. Again, this is a Christian show. I just wanted to call and thank you for all you do. God bless you, and God bless your listeners, sir. Thank you, my friend. God bless you, too. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, sir. Take care. Don't don't call me, sir. <laughs> I'm no sir. I'm no one. Thank you, guys. I'm really, I don't know. I, I think I, it's time for me to go, because if you guys keep saying that to me, I will feel like, I'm, you know, like it's, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I just want to talk to you. I don't want people to say thank you. I'm just happy to have you here and uh, always I say no Christian to call, no Christian to call and if a Christian call I get upset because I, you know I want to invest the time usually you know like when we are doing our program so you can hear a real conversation between someone who's a real Muslim and someone who's a real Christian so people can learn and judge. All right. Hello? Hello? 
<laughs> mute you too, please. Mute you too, please. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, CP. Hello, my friend. How are you? Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas this to you. Can, you. can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Merry Christmas to you. Yes, this is Ben. I'm, I actually operate, I run the channel Christian Prince Debates. Okay. And uh, the response that we get from <laughs> Indonesia and Malaysia is just amazing. A lot of people. So you, are... your channel is the one who adds subtitles in Indonesian language, is that correct? No, no, no. I oh, have okay. the one in English. I basically take all your debates all right. and put them on the channel. Mm -hmm. And the number of subscribers from Indonesia and especially from Malaysia are just, uh, it's phenomenal. God is working mightily there. I mean. And I just want to thank you and thank God for using you. Thank you. Thank you for your work. You know, because here we go. You see, it's not only me working, or you guys are working too. So the the blessing is the blessing is all over, and uh, all of us we are doing the same work. Because the one who copy a video and share the video is no less than the one who made the video. Because he did something he can do at least. You know. God is good. God yeah. is good. Thank you to that. I just want to thank you for everything and uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Take care. Bye bye. Have a good one. Yeah. All right. Someone here is trying to call. Okay, this is <clears throat> missed call here. Hello. Hey, uh, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. You go ahead. You're live on air. Go ahead. Yes, uh, my name is Jordan. I just wanted. Go ahead. Passed a long time ago, and uh, I wanted to say thank you because I have been learning a lot. Uh, I bought uh, three of your books: uh, Sex and Allah, one and two, and The Deception of Allah. And uh, me as a Christian, I've been uh, learning a lot of how to debate with Muslims and um, because I have learned it from you and uh, I wanted to say thank you for that. Um, and I just wanted to encourage you to keep doing the, the work that you are doing because it's, it's just amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, you, you, I wanted to say also that... Um, yeah, you did an amazing job when you debated uh, Meme Hijab, and <laughs> uh, they kept muting you, but uh, yeah, I guess they're cowards. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I wanted to just say Merry Christmas to you, and um, I encourage everyone to give a, a super chat for your program, because um, um, you deserve it for the work that you do. Thank you, my friend. Well... Uh, this is super chat. It's uh, YouTube. They keep, uh, you know, sometimes they put it on, sometimes they take it off. <laughs> you know, they, because they they keep complaining yeah. about my work, and I understand it's okay. Anyway, you know, if super chat is here or not, still I will do what I do, and the Lord is blessing us, and He is our provider. Yes. Uh, well, that's all I wanted to tell you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Um, too many trying to call. I'm trying just to catch up with you guys. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. Finally, I can talk to you. So. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Uh, you know, so I, 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 you this is what this is what happened always to me when I talk to myself too. I get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay, so uh, I miss uh, uh, this topic because I just came home. But uh, I'm so glad I talk tomorrow. But you also have a call from Christian also today. So thank you for calling me. And about Christmas, uh, yeah, of course we love Christmas as a Christian uh, because Christmas talking about Jesus' love 
we know that Jesus、uh, loves us that much, and、uh, He came to us to the world, became a man to save us, sacrifice、uh, to save us from all sin, right? So of course we love Christmas, and also I love Christmas because、um, <clears throat> usually in Christmas I can meet all my people, all my family that I never meet before, because you know. Uh, they're really busy and only can meet once in a year. But yeah, always amazing talking about Christmas for me. That's it. And how about you?、Uh, what about me? You know, let us see. Last Christmas I was talking about Muhammad, and the Christmas before it I was talking about Muhammad, and the Christmas before it I was talking about Muhammad. <laughs> Actually, once, once. <laughs> There is a guy. He is a sheikh, supposedly, and he wanted to prove to the Muhammadan that he is brave. So he challenged me to debate him. So I said, "Okay, name the date." He said, "The twenty-five of twenty-fifth of December." <laughs> and he thought, he thought,、oh, I, really? he thought, yeah, he thought I will say no because this is a Christmas day, right? So I said, "Sure, I will be waiting、yeah. for you. I will be waiting for you." And the coward did not show up. <laughs> Yeah, they thought they, yeah, yeah. He, he thought he thought he will make it like this. So I will say no, and then he will say to his followers, "See, I told you he ran away from me." But、uh, surprise, surprise! I said, "Sure, I will be waiting for you. Why not? Christmas night, Christmas evening, New Year evening, all is is the same for me. I will be happy to serve the Lord." And he did not show up. Yeah, he never show up. Yeah, for me, Christmas. For、yeah. me, Christmas is doing what I do. And people, they you know, they,、mm-hmm. I, I give them a, a peaceful arm, a peaceful uh, uh,、mm-hmm. animation to fight the devil and fight deceiving and deception. So we will not be ignorance, because the Bible says my people have been destroyed because of their、yep. ignorance. You know, so ignorance is our enemy. Yes, is not is not Muslims are not my enemy. We love them. We are Christians. So we are fighting ignorance. Yeah, ignorance is our enemy. people. They die because of they used to die because of a little flu. <coughs> By millions, it's just a flu, and today no different.、Yeah. Nothing changed. People die by cancer by millions, and one day will come and people will find a solution for cancer, and cancer will become like a flu. But until that day come, people still will die. So for me, why I want to wait until the day come, so people will see that Muhammad is not a prophet of God. If we can do, fight the flu today. Yes. All right. Anything, anything you, else you want to、yeah. share about about Christmas or maybe your family? You want to say hello to everybody? Go ahead. Ah,、uh, yeah. I just want to say Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, uh, love people. Uh, uh, love God means live, love people in patience. So just、uh, show the fruit that we、uh, belong to Jesus. That's all.、Mm-hmm. And happy to talk to you, Chris. The end for you. Thank you. Take care, my sister. Good advice. Yeah. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye. All right. For those that are trying to call, don't be upset, please. I'm just trying my best to take your calls one by one. It's too many, and it is not easy. And if we hang up on somebody, they will be upset. Right. <clears throat> Okay, we have a caller here. Let's see, missed call. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mr. Christian Prince. Merry Christmas to you and your followers.、Uh, Merry Christmas to you, my friend. And I and I have no followers. Those people defy、uh, well, Christ. Oh well, the followers, all of us on、uh, your chat. Ah,、uh, yeah, but I, you know, we are followers of Christ. Nobody follow me. I don't want amen, brother.、Me. Amen, brother.、Uh, one thing I want to do is, and I want to make it real short because you have a lot of followers. Okay.、Uh, number one to the followers,、uh, we have to support Christian Prince. He does not ask for financial following, but this man is on two to three times a day, every day of the week. So even out of the thousand people who are chat, even if you can afford to give five or ten dollars a month. This will help in his ministry. So I know we as Christians we have a lot of pride. Arabs especially, 
but we should also support Christian Prince. Yeah, let us go. Second, let us change the topic. Change the topic. Okay, what do you want to say to us okay. about Christmas? <laughs> number one, number two. The second thing is, is that every time we bring up Catholic and Protestant and things of this nature, okay, yeah. I start to see people starting to fight and argue and so on and so forth, okay? Yeah. As Christian Prince says before, divide and conquer. This is what exactly. the government is doing all that. We believe in Christ. We believe in the Holy Spirit. We believe in, in, in the resurrection. We believe in this. So do not allow what the fault of man has done to divide us. We're all Christians, and this is the most important thing. I mean to that. Other than that, that's all I want to tell you, my brother. God bless you. God bless your ministry. And God bless all the Christians. And Merry Christmas, my brother. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Exactly. Thank you. God bless you. Thanks, sir. Yeah, anyone, please, if there's admin in the chat, anyone who tried to divide the Christians, get out. And here we are family, Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, those names are not exist here. The only name is exist is Christ the Messiah. If you don't like it, just leave. As simple as that. Here, Satan, he have no place. Christ, he said, whoever believe in me and I will live. He did not mention names of those churches. Uh, give me a second. Let me put you in the speaker, please. Okay. Go ahead. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Merry Christmas. And hey, Merry Christmas, brother. It's been a while. We haven't talked like for a year or so. All right. And uh, you haven't you haven't responded to my last email. I hope you know who I am. <laughs> uh, I'm trying. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. Too many, oh, too so many, I, uh, too many names okay, to, so, to, to remember. Okay, uh, go ahead. Well, uh, well uh, you know that uh, that uh, you now know that I have your email and you okay. probably have mine. All right. Logically, uh, well, uh, I don't want to. Uh, right. What do you, what do you, wanna, what do you want to say about, about what do you want to share about the Christmas? Yes. Uh, well, the thing is, uh, Christmas. It's not only a special time because of the now, but we can also look back and think what happened during the year, what happened last Christmas and what we want to do this year. And what I really like to think is people always talk about the Messiah coming down to earth, giving his life on the cross and that this was some sort of humiliation for him, you know, but I think it was also uh, something big for him to do to become a human in the first place. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. to humble himself down, being born like us all in the cradle. That's, that's really something amazing. He loved us so much that he became man, full man, full God. And uh, I mean, we are talking about, about, about God here. Right. It's, it's, it's just so amazing that he loves us so much that he came down in the first place. You know what I mean? Yeah, but we are listening and everybody is listening. Tell us what you want to say. Uh, sorry, you, uh, your sound is coming a bit uh, muddled over here, over my headphones. Oh, okay. No, no worries. Uh, anyway, I, I've heard so many people talk about Christmas is not biblical and all this. Sorry to say it's, it's garbage because it's not a date or time we are celebrating, we are celebrating the Messiah. And like you said many times before, every day can be Christmas and it's nothing bad. It's, it's actually very beautiful. I mean to that. Well, thank you, my friend, for calling and Merry Christmas to you and your family. Merry Christmas. And I know many people told, told that to you, but your work is so amazing. I got to know because uh, I had to do with it uh, myself. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, it's, it's uh, talking about translations, you know. <laughs> All right. All right, my friend. Maybe we can. you can text me later and we can talk. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I, will, I will write you an email, okay? All right. Thank you. Take care. And, and mu anyway, much love. God bless you. And uh, have a very Merry Christmas and a good start into the new year. Thank you. Hello? Yes. Oh, hi, is that Christian Prince? Yes, it is. 
Oh, brilliant. It's great to finally speak to you. Um, yeah, my name's um, Jake, and um, I always celebrate Christmas, and I've just gone to a midnight... No, so I've just gone to a carol service with my um, godparents. But then when I got home, um, I just wanted a Christian viewpoint on this, because somebody, um, a, a, a person who claims to be a prophet, um, has said something really damaging to me, and because I've got... Um, I'm a new Christian and I've got a learning disability. It's quite hard for me to take it in. And he told me that if you celebrate Christmas, uh, you will you will go to hell and Santa's a demon. And there's, he said to me, there's children in hell. And I, I'm just so upset because it's really disturbed me because I don't know what to do because I don't know why he would say that to me. What, what, yeah, what well, do you well, think, but why, do you why he said that to you? Based on what this person he said that to you? He said he, he was raptured to hell. He had a dream and Jesus took him to hell. Okay, but why, why, but, but hell. why if somebody celebrated Christmas, he will go to hell? Why he said that to you? I don't know why he said that. He, well, maybe I, he's a... He, my I, friend, I said, maybe, 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 he said. maybe he's mentally ill. I mean, if everybody, if everybody says something to you, he will make you cry and upset. I mean, life is full of around us of people who they are idiots. So take it easy, my friend. People, they can say whatever they want. You know, they can say smart things, they can say stupid things, who care? You know, at the end of the day, we are celebrating the day of Christ, not the day of an idiot like this guy. So, he says yeah, something, it's I, stupid, yeah. and don't let the stupid one affect you. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, I, I don't understand why people, I mean, I mean, it's just like, I mean, I, I listen to this debate with, with, sorry, I'm not going off topic, but I mean, I listened to a debate with you and Muhammad Tajab, and all you did was ask him one question, and he literally screamed at you for asking a question. I said, "Why?" I said, "Why can't we all just get along and 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 enjoy God's presence? Why do we? Why is there people out there who have to be who have to ruin it for everyone else? Why is there people who just have to just be horrible to people? I just don't get it. You know, and the sooner Jesus comes, the better, in my opinion. All right. Anything, anything else you want to share with us, my friend? Uh, yeah, um, I, I think Christmas for me is a special time when I um, when I just get with my family and and we literally we just thank God for everything because when we're with the family, All right. we thank God for the family, we thank God for our health, we thank God for everything, and then obviously we then know that um, as as in the as as in the um, <coughs> as in the Carol Hark the Herald Angels sing. Um, you know, it, it says, "But on that man, no more may die." So when he came down, that, that's that's the, that's the Christmas sessions, and that's what we celebrate the the birth of, of of Jesus and that and what he did for us is just amazing and mind boggling. But um, no, thank you. You put, you put my mind at rest now, Christian Prince, and I really do hope that you and your family have a really, really wonderful Christmas. Thank you. Thank so you, thank you very much. God bless you, and don't let okay, people affect now. you. Don't let people affect you with the stupid things they say. All right. Be strong. Okay. Okay. Take care. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Right, God bless. Bye -bye. Bye. You know, there's there's people they claim to be Christians and they say stupid things like you will go to hell if you celebrate Christmas. I mean, <laughs> how is that? <laughs> I don't really know. Yeah, you know, let the fool, let the fool speak for himself. You know, don't don't let the fool fool you. <clears throat> Uh, let us see here. We have a missing call here. Hello? Hello? Yes, you are live on air. Yes, yeah, CP, I called you like a while ago. I'm the Croatian guy. You're welcome, my friend. Go ahead. Uh, I just wanted to address this stupid point the people are making in the chat, like dividing each other between Catholics, Protestants. Yeah, let, us, let, like let, us, let us not to talk about it because already I mentioned that anyone will do that. I will ban him and I did already ban some names. So give me something you want to say about Christmas. I just to say how stupid it is because even I, I, talk, I read the Catholic Bible and I realized we did some things wrong. But those are all uh, man-made traditions, you know. It's just to divide us. It's just stupid and uh, silly. Friend, actually. Let me let me deal with because this topic. Who, who cares on which day exactly do we need to celebrate Christmas and stuff like that? 
for me personally, when I go to church, I don't care if it's Orthodox, Protestant or Catholic. Exactly. If you believe in Messiah, if you believe he died for our sins and he rose, you are my brother in Christ. It's easy as that. Yeah, I mean, I mean to that. I agree with you. Thank you, my friend, for calling. And, uh, and just uh, one personal request, uh, as you're a long time fan, I've been watching your videos for three years. I'm a bit disappointed. And uh, I want to say why, because uh, I kind of expect Zachary Naik to wish us a Merry Christmas, you know? <laughs> Maybe soon. <laughs> Thank you. So he should, he should <laughs> wish us a Merry Christmas uh, in this uh, stream, I think. Yeah, he, if, he, if, he do, if he do, he will lose his job. <laughs> Don't try. All right, my friend. Okay. Take care. God bless you. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. <coughs> hello? Hey, hello. What's up, Christian Prince? Hey, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. Um, yeah, uh, I tried to call you like three times now. I'm, I feel so sorry, by the way. It's all right, no problem. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I just want to say, first of all, Merry Christmas. And uh, second of all, I just want to say something to all Christians who are watching right now. Um, just want to tell them, first of all, so Merry Christmas. And second of all, I feel like nowadays Christians uh, feel like we're really weak because they're afraid like people will judge them and they're afraid to share the gospel to people. And say the truth as it, as it is, right? Mm -hmm. And I just want to say to people, uh, because I used to be the same before, and I used to be afraid to say the truth. And whenever like Muslims or anybody will say something to me, I was always like afraid to say the truth. But I just want to say that don't forget that Jesus to always told us to say the truth. And even though like he knew it would offend people, he didn't care because the truth is the truth, and himself is the truth. And that just that fight also like offended a lot of people and even they tried to kill him so just want to say to my christian brothers and sisters stop being weak and i assume the fact that christ is our lord and don't be afraid to anybody because like the bible says like our warfare is against like evil spirits not against people so don't be afraid if people like say stuff to us and they don't, they don't agree with us just say the truth because the truth is all we have and christ is the truth I mean to that. Thank you, my friend, for calling. Take care. Amen. Have a nice one. Bye bye. Yeah, whatever you say, you will offend somebody. <laughs> if you say you are wrong, he's get get offended. Right? <clears throat> like they say to you, why you say Muhammad is an evil person? Can't you say it a different way? I mean, a person he caused the death of millions and millions. What else I I should say? I mean, this this person, how many, how much blood in the hand of a person? is enough to call him evil right let us see here people are trying to call <coughs> okay maybe maybe this person don't want to talk all right just texting Anyone else when I called? Okay, this person is calling many times actually. And it's time for him to talk. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, go ahead. You are live on air. Okay, can you hear me well? I hear you. Go ahead. I'm calling you from Europe. All right. I just want to wish you Merry Christmas. Thank you. Jesus is the reason for the season. I mean. I've tried a couple of times to reach you. Yeah. And I just want to show my gratitude to God that he came down when we were most miserable because Satan was all, you know, just treating humankind the way he wanted and Jesus, in his mercy, surrendered to God and said, send me. And he came down. And I'm so grateful for that. I mean to that. Now, I am calling you yeah. because now um, my, my child uh, studies religio uh, re religious studies at school, right? Okay. 
and there he knows I listen to you all the time. I'm just very addicted listening to you. And um, that's why he came to me asking me. They, I, and then I realized that they are actually, I mean, he's studying Christian religious studies. Okay. But then there is a part there that says Matai, um, um, religious martyrs, you know, those who die for their faith, which actually is supposed to be talking about Christians. Mm -hmm. But then they put names of caliphates and mm -hmm. call them martyrs. I don't know how to pronounce the word. They call them martyrs in the Christian book. Hmm. And, and because he knows I listen to you all the time, he came to you. That's um, uh, the, the, the guy is, um, you know, the caliphate, but his son or grandson or great-grandson great of Muhammad. Okay. And then I realized, I, I remember you said, that uh, Muhammad never had his own children. Mm. Child, the children always died young. And the one you can only refer to as his child were the children of Khadija, the woman that was older than, than him. Mm. So at least I was able to, you know, the things, I, the knowledge I gained from you, I was able to pass it on to my child. Mm -hmm. But what would you advise in this case? Would you advise if there is any um, question, especially on that one big lie? Because it's a lie. It's not a calif caliphates are not martyrs for me. Yeah, I'm so, just I'm just trying to understand how how yes. they how they insert this is in a book talking about Christianity, and uh, they are I, saying the caliphate is a murder. Yes. I can I can scan that page this, and even forward it to you. It's amazing that they are now like putting such a thing in uh, religious studies that is supposed to be for Christian Christianity. Mm. You know, do, do you, uh, you live in England? Yes. Why you don't complain that this is first wrong information? Secondly, it's a wrong place. Why why is such a such a written is it exist in a book teaching Christianity? What does this have to do with Christianity? Well, I don't know if I would go there. What yeah. that would uh, the the story would have on my on my child, you know. Hmm. Well, yeah. Uh, first, I, uh, I was going if, to give if him no, the advice if that if nobody, if, if nobody, if nobody, yeah, but if nobody should not, if nobody correct them, then they will keep doing their deception. Somebody inserted that text there for a purpose. But if families start complaining, then they have to fix it. So you can speak to some uh, other uh, children, the uh, parents. Maybe some of, you, of them you know, and then you can yeah. make a complaint. All of you, not only you, and that will be fixed. Secondly, the caliphate had nothing to do with the children of Muhammad. Even the Quran says in chapter thirty-three, verse number forty, Muhammad is not the father of any of your men. So he was never, and he have none. And uh, even the children which Muslim they claim that he have, uh, they give, uh, or let us say, uh, Maria, she gave birth to. This is her slave. This is not his wife. And she was sleeping around, not only with him. And Muhammad obviously is a potent man. He cannot have babies. Even the Quran mentioned that yeah. in two places. Uh, so uh, uh, Muhammad have no children. Uh, many people, they claim that they are descendant from the children of Fatima. But Fatima herself is not his child anyway. This is a child of Khadija from a previous marriage. Khadija, she have three husbands. Yeah. Muhammad is number three. Yes, I, I, I heard all this from you, and um, with the knowledge, I was able to pass it on to my to my child when, it, uh, uh, when I was asked the question, you see. Well, that's a good advice. I'll have to like come together. I don't know how many they are, because uh, these days you don't find children doing religious studies anymore. Hmm. You know, well, you have so to, do you have to educate with other parents. the school, my friend, start at home, not at school. This is the, the real school. At, exactly. at, at a school, teacher, they are, they are always perfectly correct. And even the teacher, if you don't believe in what he is teaching, he have to teach what is written in the text in front of him. So he, otherwise, yes. he will lose his job. So it's your, it's your job as a, as a parent to teach your child what he should learn. Exactly. 
Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you very Anyways, much. Anyways, thank you very much. Just for you to know, I pray for you. I pray for, I pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and I'm using this um, uh, uh, platform to tell your listeners that the Bible commands us to p pray for Jerusalem, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. There are so many you, you you don't you don't want to imagine what uh, the people are going through and the lies and deception for the whole world to go, uh, go against uh, that small uh, country called uh, Israel. So God will bless us all if we continue to pray. Pray for Netanyahu, pray for other people. I know you you are not uh, very excited about Netanyahu, but anyone who God elects and puts there as a prime minister, it's a duty as uh, Christians to pray for them. I pray for uh, uh, Trump as well. So let's all join together. You say the Bible says the prayer of the righteous availeth, the fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. So please let us be encouraged to pray and not criticize each other, each other the, the way Satan wants. And God, and we pray for the Muslims as well. They are victims. Don't forget. Thank you very much, CP. Nice talking to you. God bless you. God bless you, my friend. Take, take care. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. All right. Let us see here. We have a call. Somebody trying to call. There is a person in the chat, he said that Muhammad, he have a child, his name is Qasim. Go and see the hadith of Aisha. She said to him, don't you see, even he don't look like you. And even Umar al-Khattab, he wanted to kill the cousin of uh, of uh, Mary, the Copt. And, uh, uh, and you know, you talk about Qasim, what Qasim? He have a child, supposed his name is Ibrahim. Obviously, you do not know what are you talking about. Uh, <clears throat> Are you CP? Let us see, someone tried to call. You see, I'm trying to call back those who we lost them. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hey, CP. Hey, my friend. How are you? Rich and Prince. How are you? I'm good. Thank you, Lord. Hey, I want to say I uh, love you so much and uh, always uh, <laughs> follow you and your good, good uh, things that you tell us, the advices and the righteousness that we see from you. Very happy. Merry Christmas. God bless you and your family. Thank you, my friend. Always with you, always together. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, actually, uh, I am uh, an Armenian. Okay. And uh, lately, like, I have my channel in YouTube and I'm debating Muslims myself in Russian. <laughs> That's wonderful. Some people, they're writing in English, like, oh, Russian CP. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, actually, yeah. I have my book translated already to Russian and I'm just waiting to see how I can publish it. I hope soon we will be able to publish the Russian book. Oh, that will be great. Really great. Yeah. Uh, we will wait for your book. And um, truth will help everybody. Your truth. Thank you, my friend. Very happy. And we are always with you. The Lord is with us. Thank you. Take care, my friend. God bless you. God bless. Take care. <clears throat> uh, you know, just a correction. I have nothing to claim about righteousness. You see, a human being, he have no really, no real righteousness. Uh, you know, we, we try to be righteous people, but uh, I mean... 
Uh, as the Bible says, you know, Paul, he spoke about himself. I will not be better. Uh, all right. Okay, hello. Hello, Brother CP. Hey, sister, how are you? Hello? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Hello? Hello? Hello, Brother CP. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. This is from Indonesia, brother. Thank you. Good to have you. I'm glad to have you from Indonesia. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah, brother. I just, okay. Merry Christmas to you, brother. Good morning. Merry Christmas and to you and your family. Okay. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Brother, I just want to, uh, to say thank you for the knowledge you share for us in Indonesia. You're welcome, sister. I'm happy. And uh, I will do my I will do my best to do more. Yeah, I'm here. Ask you one question. Sure. Uh, Muhammad always says that uh, uh, midnight mid, mid, midnight prayer tahajud is it uh, the the best prayer? The yeah, best prayer is yeah, it right? Yeah, but isn't it, isn't it funny that this is the best prayer? But Allah, He 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 come at the at the end of the third part of the night. So to ask who is praying, <laughs> which means you are praying in the wrong timing. <clears throat> yeah, that's why I, I, I think this is very funny. Yeah, you know, Muhammad, you know, Muhammad, he had tons of uh, stories and all of them supposedly he come with something strange and something silly. So why I'm praying five times a day if the best prayer is at the middle of the night? <clears throat> I better not waste my time praying during the daytime and pray at night at the, at the middle of the day, the middle of the night. And that's it. <laughs> Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just want. Uh, I don't want to take uh, too long. Just. Uh, I just want to say greeting from Ustad Abdul Somad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you, brother. Uh, God bless you, brother. Thank you. Take, take care. Bye bye. Yeah. Thank you. Thank bye -bye. you. This is from Indonesia. Yeah. Thank this you. is Indonesia. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. I don't say the name of the caller because maybe they wish not to say. If they wish to say, they can say that when they call. All right. Uh, let us see. Do we have more callers, or we are out of them? Let us see. Um, all right. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, CP. Uh, hey, uh, I'm an ex Muslim. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I, I follow your videos for nine months and you're awesome you're really awesome guy thank you my friend well, uh, i want to ask my uh, Ahi, uh is it true that momo only eat three dates after fasting in ramadan or oh, uh, muhammad what yeah i had an hadith where <coughs> momo yeah <coughs> he only eat three dates and muslims are up the losers <laughs> They love to propagate this. Is well, well, you know, uh, there is tons of stories about Muhammad, and uh, mm. Muhammad eating three dates a day. Is that a trinity again? Yeah. What does that mean? In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and why? And why three? I mean, this is this is silly. Secondly, <laughs> if uh, uh, he eats three uh, dates uh, a day in the month of Ramadan, I mean. You have to be why he eat them because this will do nothing to him anyway. What about you? Don't eat at all. You know, Jesus he fasted. Jesus he did, Jesus he did fast for forty days with no food. 
So a person who can survive with the three dates as they claim, he do not need the three dates. I mean, what the three dates would do? Uh, there's, there's, there's tons of lies and uh, fabrication and fiction stories. Yeah. Uh, by the way, CP, I also, you know, uh, analyzed the, you know, YouTube, mm -hmm. and, uh, and you know, I, uh, I found a stupid channel like Ahmad Subi. Subi, mm -hmm. you know this guy? No, I don't. Ahmad Subi. No. Konal anti subhatif. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know the guy with, you know, brown beard. Well, there's too many of them. And it's hard to count. Speaking bad about Egyptian Christianity. <laughs> okay. What about him? Ahmad Subia. Okay, my friend. Ahmad is, Subia. My, my friend. There's tons, right. tons of them, and none of them knows anything what, about about his cult. So, if we want to count the names of those who they are ignorant, we, it's endless. Muhammad himself, he knows nothing about Islam. What about the rest? <laughs> no? Yeah, I, I I find it funny, like when. Abdus, they talk about Christianity, but they themselves, they don't really care about their religion. Well, if they have, uh, you know, if they have something to say, let them call us. To... Yeah. I want to... Yeah, I'm saying, okay. if they want to talk about Christianity, yet they don't dare to call us to tell us what they believe. They talk to themselves, you know, they make a monologue uh, a, a debate, which means a person making a video debating himself winning the debate. <laughs> it's like it's like you're playing chess alone, and then uh, wh whoever wins, it's you. <laughs> yeah, that's absurd. Yeah. Well, thank you, my friend, for calling. Anything else you want to add? Uh, yeah, yeah. See you, CP. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Merry Christmas. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you abundantly. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Let us see. We have Let us see this person <laughs> Hello Hey CP you called me back the Armenian guy Oh uh, okay I, I thought you are a different person sorry I called you by mistake uh, No 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 uh, Prince, actually, it's good that you called me. Uh, I want to tell the people who from Russia that watching you yeah. my Russian channel's name, so they can subscribe and support. Well, why so why, why you good. don't post uh, a, a post yeah. post now as you are talking? Called... Post post huh? just 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 type something and they will click at your name and they will go there. Aren't you using the same name? The same account? Uh, it's, it's like it's like uh, in the Russian Warrior of Christ. Yeah, but I'm, 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 I am saying, aren't you now using in sky in in YouTube? The same account for your channel, you are right. Uh, correct, correct. Yeah. I so all what you need to do, all what you need to do, just say hello. I am the one st speaking to Christian Prince, the Russian, and then they will click at your right. page and your account, and they can go to your account immediately. <laughs> Actually, I was doing that. So just right. uh, wanted as as you called me back, yeah. so I all wanted right. like to tell them also. All right, thank you. Just don't uh, don't forget don't forget to post okay, in the, in the chat. Okay, peace of Christ. Okay, for, don't forget to post in the chat, please. Of course. Thank All right. You. Thank you. <clears throat> Let us see. Do we have more? Well, I think we are out of callers. Sound good. Maybe this one. Did we call this one before? Uh, call the clean. Call. Uh, yeah, this person just want to share a Bible with us. Okay, thank you. Uh, but let us, he, he called many times. Let us give him a chance to talk. <coughs> Marhaba. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Bhattayyib Al-Ghali. Hi. Shlonak. <laughs> Hi. Um, yeah, me, just like everybody else, is nervous. So if I sound weird, it's because I'm nervous. Nervous from what? <laughs> I'm, I'm just nervous. All right. I can't help it. Okay. Um, anyways, <coughs> marhaba. Um, 
Can I call you Achti? Or brother no. is probably. No, you say in Arabic if you say Achti, it's for a, for a female. Achi for a male. Achi. Achi for yeah, a male. Achi okay. for a female. Okay. I'll call you brother then. All right. My dear brother. Um, yeah, I. Mainly, I just want to share a Bible verse. All right, go ahead. Or <laughs> two of them. Um, yeah. <sighs> Finding um, the courage to go on. Anyways, um, First John 4, 7 to 8. Since we've been speaking, or rather since you and everybody else has been speaking about this, um, my personal favorite verses is First John 4, 7 to 8. Beloved, let us love one another, for mm. love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not, knoweth, knoweth not God, for God is love. I mean, yes. yes, God is love, and this is what Christ is about, and you know, those who enjoy Christ, they enjoy Christmas because they love everybody. You see, life is like a mirror, when you have a love in your heart, Everything around you is loving. Everything you see around you is loving. So, uh, uh, you know, the reason we, we, we have fear because we are afraid. And the reason we are afraid because we, are, we don't trust. And the reason we, are, we don't trust because we know there is people who they are evil around us who want to hurt us, right? So all of this will, will, will make a reaction on me and will make me an unhappy person that will stress me because I have to be worried about everything when I go in the road and the train and the bus even though I live in a, in a civil society supposedly but this civil society is not civil so I feel too much stress but with you Christ you feel that you have the comforter with you and love is your mm -hmm. warranty is not it is your security love is your security mm -hmm. you are a person of love because exactly. whatever, whatever happened whatever happened you see even death for us even death because we are believers is not the end of the trip it's just a step in the trip it's just another station so for us a, per a person who fear he, he don't fear death he fear nothing and and the, the second we learn how to overcome our fear it is the same time we learn much about love because love and fear they don't really go together fear Fear will kill your love and will kill your joy. I um, I'm not quite sure if I agree that. Why tell me? Why don't I? Why don't fear, the fear we have? No, fear can fear kill your joy. Have. No, fear can kill your joy because simply when you have mm. fear from people around you, you will not be able even to love them because you fear them. Mm. You know um, what we fear is to not be loved. It is the lack of love. No, that we you see, this, this is a this is a mistake. That's mean. Your love is not is not about loving others. It's about lo loving yourself. So because I fear that this person will not love me, so I'm not going to love him. Because what if he don't oh, love me? Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, no, no, no. Oh no, yeah, I agree with that. Hmm. But it's not that I. Oh well, it's not that one would fear that uh, would love people because they love me. Hmm. But rather, it's that well, some people that you love can still be cold and be so what? cruel. Yeah, you see, you see, for me, uh, uh, the sun. Mm -hmm. the, the Bible says the sun rays upon the bad and the good. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, be the sun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be the sun, and don't worry about the rest. Be be holy as yeah, your father. Thanks, yeah. Be loving as as he told you to be. And then the same, what more than crucifying the Messiah? They crucify him still, he loved them. And he said, Father, forgive them, they don't know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, I have a lot of other things. But no, yeah, this is the core of what the message that I had. All right. Thank you, Thank my friend. You. Thank you for calling. Take care. God bless you. Hello? 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 Yes. Hi, Christian Prince. Hello, my friend. You are live on air. <clears throat> Hi, this is, uh, I'm calling from Singapore. All right. Uh, this is Leonard. I just want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. And oh. I've been following you for the past three years. And I uh, let me tell you, I've been, I've learned so much about um, 
about Islam mm. and I, and I'm I'm a, I'm a Catholic and, and not so much about, um, about my faith as well. You know, for me, just by listening to you, I just want to wish you and wish everybody that's listening to you right now a very merry Christmas. Thank you, thank, thank you, my you. friend. Thank you, my brother. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Take bye. care. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. You know, if I know that you Christians are you love me a lot, I will I will let the Christian people call me every day. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh boy, I know that you guys are wonderful. Actually, this day is a blessing day for me because I'm I feel like I'm uh, uh, sometimes it's too much uh, garbage talking about garbage every day. You know. You need you need some time. You need, you need a shower sometime. You know you need, you need uh, it's too much. Hello. Hello. Yes, you are live on air. Hi, CP. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Um, I just wanted to say um, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you and. Um, it's great to hear from you. So I like your English. Uh, I, I, I like your English, by the way. Do you? Yeah, because like it's like brother and sister. I'm going to teach you English today. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I just, I just, it's just nice to to speak to you. So, um, so yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but um, I'm glad to speak to you. <laughs> You're welcome. By the way, your accent is a British accent or Australian? No, no English. Oh, this is English. Ah, so you yeah. are the one who stole Shakespeare from us. Shakespeare who is <laughs> Sheikh Isber, who is an Arab. You see those English people? Sheikh Isber is an Arab guy. His name is Sheikh Isber. Those English people, they took him, they changed his citizenship, and they stole our book from him. I mean, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> God bless you, um, Christian Prince. Thank I just you. want to say thank. I just want to say, um, you know, we thank God for you. Um, we thank God for your life. We we hope um, He keeps you well, um, and we're just so grateful for you. You know, we are so grateful for you. I'm grateful for um, you. And by the way, my name on Skype is Hobo Momo. Just in case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to say, you know, thank you so much. And I pray for you every single day. You know, you are just amazing. We really do appreciate you. You know, and it's nothing wrong in saying that we do appreciate you because we do appreciate you. Um, and I just want to say, I just thank God for your life. You know, I just, I'm so grateful. I'm so, I thank God for you. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm really... I don't know what to say in English. Like English is not my first language, but I feel I, I don't okay. know. I, I I love your accent. I I love your accent. I just I love the way you speak. I just you know I just I'm just so happy, and I just pray for you every single day. Thank you. Every single time I pray for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate your kind words. God bless. Yeah, and I just want to say to the <laughs> to the chat as well read your bible it's so important to read your bible <laughs> right you know it's just everything the truth is in the bible just read the bible and you know the truth shall set you free but i just want to say thank you so much christian prince thank you so much take care sister god bless you no problem thank you bye bye, <clears throat> bye. yeah i don't know what the word in english to say you see uh, <clears throat> Yes, I am the one who created the English language, but I forgot what the word fit here. What they say in English when you feel like, you know, uh, it's uh, overwhelmed. I don't know if this is the correct word, like <clears throat> too much love. I'm not used to. I'm not used to. Let us see. Hello? Hello, sorry. Hi, sorry, it's me again. I'm um, sorry to call back. Um, I've got all the reasons why this guy said to me Christmas is bad. I've researched this and he said to me about why why it's bad. Hmm. So, why Christmas is bad. Right, first of all, he says that 25th December, it's not the birth of Jesus Christ. 
it was infiltrated by the devil through the Catholic Church. Hmm. That's his first point. His second point is that Santa Claus, Father Christmas, is actually a demon who deceives the world. And he says that Constantine wanted to worship the sun god on December the 25th. Hmm. And... Um, the, and the and this was made by a meeting in hell. They had a meeting in hell by the devil, okay. and it's actually a pagan. Yeah, I, I, will, I will answer you in the in the chat. We don't need to repeat ourselves. See, people they can say stupid things as much as they say. And uh, Santa Claus is a person, is a real person, is a good man. He's not fake. And we don't want a, a stupid person to have influence in what we believe. Hello. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry uh, when I called you last time. I forgot to tell you a story. I was so happy that you picked up. So I was so nervous. I forgot everything I wanted to say, actually. All right. <laughs> actually, I work uh, I work with five Muslim guys okay. in, in, in Denmark. And it's funny because every time I learn something from you and I get them busted, they, they go like quiet. So they, they like finally they stop talking about Islam in front of me. And it's so funny because, you know, I... I they go crazy as in the start and like, oh, we, why do you say that? I'm like, I'm not saying that your books are saying that. And, and they go like, oh, oh. So I send them the links and the next day they come like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go ask somebody about it. So so it's, it's thank you for that. I'm, I'm, I hope they will open their eyes someday and, and learn the, tr uh, the truth, you know. But thank it's a little bit hard to work with them and then speak about those stuff because I have to be careful how, how I put it out to them. Right. Yeah, I need, so, so, but, I need but, a lot of patience. We learn a lot from you, and, and thank you, thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Anything else? Hello. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you for calling. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Yeah. Going back to the person who told you about Constantine and the Christmas Day and etc. First, the Christmas Day, the 25th of December, is not really uh, the the the, the I mean, the Christians don't even agree about if it's 25th or not, because the Easter Church, Easter Church, they have the Eastern calendar, which I believe is more accurate. Uh, let me just, let me just please answer. Hello. Hello, Christian Prince. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, my friend. Uh, give me a second, put you on the speaker. All right. Uh, okay, go ahead. I just wanted to say uh, I appreciate the the work that you that you you've been doing fighting the the good fight. Thank you. And uh, filling people with knowledge and uh, especially the people that are unaware of how dangerous this this cult is mm -hmm. in Islam. And uh, yeah, just just call to say to say that and also have a question in regards to uh, uh, Islam itself. Um, I have. Uh, I, I'm reading a lot of a lot of Muslims saying, making up excuses. <clears throat> you know, it's just saying, uh, oh, CP. He can't. He he doesn't know the difference between classical Arabic and Quranic Arabic. You know that that nonsense and garbage. I just wanted to say, just wanted to ask you what your opinion is on that one. Well, uh, what you expect the Muslims to say? He's right. Sorry, say again. I mean, what you expect the Muslim to say? He is right. Yeah, of course. He's, they, he's they, obviously they, they will not say that. And, uh, you know, just yesterday, I don't know if you were watching, uh, a guy, he said to me, you can watch the video of yesterday. Uh, he said to me, make Quran like the Quran. So I said to him, okay, this is a Quran I just made. He said, this is not good Quran and this is not civil and it's not good. I said, are you sure? He said, yes. Then I said to him, this is the Quran. I was just reading you to, to you Quran. So just because it's me speaking against Islam, whatever you say, even if it's read Quran, they will say this is uh, not good. <laughs> the second he discovered yeah, yeah, it's Quran. So this is, you know, this actually the, if the Muslims agree with the Christian prince, there's one of two things. Either he is out of Islam, you know, or this person yeah. is maybe extremely honest. And mm -hmm. I did not really find those are real. You know, otherwise, it's a very normal thing that every Muslim will say Christian Prince is lying. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're in they're in denial, and uh, and I think the the debate that you had with Mimi Hijab, mm. it 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 actually brought a lot of 
Muslims to Christ and also for them to leave the, the cult. So yeah, we did not that actually, was priceless. We did not debate. The and coward, he did not dare even to let me talk. I mean, we did not debate. He was, yeah. you can tell he is in fear. You know, we expect a debate. He will ask me questions. I will, you know, uh, and I will ask him questions. It was just a guy playing videos, muting me, hanging up on me. And you say this, it sounds like a show to make himself. And the funny, he said, do you want me to debate Christian Prince? Where's the debate? He's, he's a coward, and uh, I'm not sure if you're aware of... Uh, do you know Bob the Builder from uh, Speaker's Corner? Who? Bob the Builder from Speaker's Corner. Mm, I'm not... Uh, I'm, I don't really know names there. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he's part of Soko, Soko Films. Okay. I'm, I'm, I think you do. Yeah. And he, he's debated uh, uh, Muhammad Hijab many times, and he's wiped the floor with him, destroyed him, and whenever he, he uh, comes, he, he, he corners him, you mm -hmm. see him in hijab and Ali Dawa running away from Speaker's Corner. So th yeah. it's it's expected that he'll he'll play these games and you know run away and he's he's a coward. Yeah, well uh, he he thought he he knew he cannot do with me what he did with uh, David Wood, you know lying and getting away. But even that yeah. that uh, call, it was enough to show the Muslims that this person he have no knowledge and he don't dare, and he don't even start his show with Insha Allah. He never make a challenge with Insha Allah, and maybe people do not know that this is a very extreme important thing for a Muslim. A Muslim, he don't say inshallah before making a promise, it's mean he's lying. You know, it's a lying, yeah. it's li it's a lying promise. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a promise from the, de from the devil. So uh, uh, yeah. this person, he did not say inshallah, he will debate Christian mm -hmm. Prince because he don't mean it. Say, say or, or he never know what inshallah, how important it is, which make him again a fake one. And he's just doing business and the whole time he's holding something in his hand for sale yeah. <laughs> buy this and buy this buy this and yeah, buy yeah. this what is missing is to do is to sell lingerie in his uh, in his program yeah and then and then also he he was making fun of your arabic but then he he did this he said this something very stupid with in the debate with david wood saying that uh, allah prays for and not to yeah. So he, he himself doesn't 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 know anything about Arabic, and he speaks very funny broken Arabic. And when he said, "Oh, he's not pronouncing this properly," as as uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, Christian Prince, I'm Middle Eastern, and I know that every depending on where you're you're from in, in the Middle East, everyone mm. has a certain dialect, so they speak Arabic in a different in, a, in a, a specific way. For example, the Syrians speak uh, Arabic. Uh, pronouncing the words differently to the Egyptian and to the Sudanese or to whatever, you know? Correct. So that's just a silly, stupid excuse. And they're, they're, they're cowards and they're desperate. No, but anyway, I mean, if a person, he is saying this person, he do not know how to speak Arabic. What does this have to do with the topic? Let us say, let us say, for the sake of argument, I am from Indonesia. Answer, yeah. and still you did not answer my accusation. You gave yeah. no answer. Secondly, uh, when they say to me, uh, uh, about uh, breastfeeding, suckle him, you know. Uh, I said, I was yeah. reading to your sister what your prophet said. He, you know, he don't want to talk about it. He want to talk about what I said to the women. But I said to her what the yeah. prophet said. <laughs> so he keep, <laughs> he keep changing topic from place to place to place because he cannot stop with it. He would just want to mention it, mute me, and make a comment. You know, that's yeah. all. He don't want to debate about it. So each, each one, single thing from those who mentioned, they are against Islam. Number one, Suckle him, suckle me. The prophet, he said that. He did not answer why the prophet, he says such a thing. How stupid it is for a, mo a man claimed to be a prophet of God to order women, even Aisha, she ordered her sister to suckle strange men. Secondly, yeah. about about Paul in the in the in the Quran, you know, he he uh, this this uh, this uh, this kid uh, uh, because in the in the previous video I was quoting from Ibn Kathir from different book. So when he asked me yeah. in the life uh, call about the reference, I gave him different book, but he was answering about the other book because he's a potato. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he's, he's, he's got no, he has no knowledge. He's just, I think, truly, I think he knows deep down inside his, his cult is a scam and he's just doing business, making money off the, off the, the, the naive and the, and the innocent that just believe if, anything he says, if, especially his Muslim followers. Yeah, if you have knowledge. And, uh, you know, look, in my opinion, he, he's not going to last. He, he's he, he's already finished based on that that yeah people can notice that if he really have knowledge he will debate me you know we will have like at yeah. least two hours i will talk and he will talk and he will never hang up on me and uh, and, and, and what, what mute him and even people cannot hear me so obviously this was not meant to debate me it was for him 
to uh, uh, say I ask him and here we go this is the answer from me but he don't want to hear me and he will not let them hear me and he knew that the yeah. Muslim will support whatever happened but look what happened after he did uh, 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 that uh, silly show I have thousand new of thousands of people subscribe to my channel by his help so yeah yeah exactly right yeah yeah and uh, also, if you notice, uh, he, he played this uh, tactic. He thought that when you would call, you wouldn't have your live broadcast on. Yeah. And he left the, the, the Skype and the computer on the other side of the room. So your voice echoes and that no one can hear you properly. Exactly. But yeah. the, the, the stupid, he didn't realize that you would also have your broadcast and you would show your, your uh, side of what's happening in the debate. Exactly. He, he, he wanted to be, this is what happened and nobody will know him. You with me, nobody hear me. And that's it. But now we have his words and my words. It's, it's there, you know. Yeah. Anyway, we, we don't want to waste our time talking about a uh, uh, bunch of kids. Do you want to say anything about the Christmas, my friend, before you go? Yeah, I just wanted to say Merry Christmas and, and God bless you. And uh, may the Lord Jesus Christ uh, um, protect us all and uh, keep us in health and uh, safety. And hopefully uh, you bring more, more Islam um, uh, Muslims to the truth. Thank you, my friend. And uh, keep fighting, keep fighting the, 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 the hard work, my friend, and I'll continue to support you. Take care. God bless. Take care. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye. You see the, ex uh, the excuse uh, of somebody who don't speak Arabic. So if a person who is born and he is an Arab and his Arabic is his first language, do not know how to speak Arabic. So who is the one who speaks Arabic then? And the funny, or he do not know how to read. The funny, you are following a prophet, he do not know how to read. So if you are trying to prove that somebody is ignorant because he do not know how to read, that's an, that's an insult to your prophet. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, Christian Prince. Uh, yes, my friend, you are live on air. I'm Serbian Christian here. All right. I wanted to ask you a question about Jews. What about them? So... Uh, so how we should consider, consider them because they they rejected the Messiah or Christ hmm. so should we should we try to bring them back or for example uh, should, should we be happy or support them claiming the Jerusalem and so on you know yeah okay I will, I will answer you after you finish anything else you want to say yeah and, and, uh, <laughs> and it uh, I wanted to, to ask you to continue what you started talking about the uh, the date of Christmas, uh, the the previous color, uh, All right. previous color. Uh, sure. You know. Sure. All right, my friend. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Take care. Yeah. The, uh, when they say that uh, that uh, uh, that uh, Christmas was the twenty fifth of December, this was, was a pagan day. Well, it was a pagan day. So what does it have to do with us? We are not celebrating the pagan day. Let us say your son is born in the day of the birthday of Hitler. What does this have to do with your son? You are celebrating different occasion. So this is a very silly statement from a very silly week and with low IQ. You are celebrating what is your celebration. Otherwise, this day is not reserved for one person. How many people they are born in this day, evil and bad and good? How many bad things and good things happen in this day? So if I can, if I say, I will go with their logic. If I say I cannot celebrate this day because this is the day, the, the, the day where Muhammad is born, but I'm born in this day. So what I would do now? <laughs> this is stupid. Secondly, Santa Claus was a very good person, and he is a real person, and he exists. Uh, I, I will stop taking calls from Skype, please, so I can answer the questions. Just give me a break for a little bit. I will I will uh, sign off from Sky for a few minutes, so we can answer the questions without disturb, if you don't mind. <clears throat> so uh, this is the, this is number one. Secondly, uh, a Christ uh, birth, uh, uh, it's not like there is there is a there is a difference between the Eastern Church and the Western Church, and me personally, I believe. That the Eastern Church, Eastern Church have a better calendar, and the reason for that, I believe I believe in it, that the Easter, according to the calendar of the Easter calendar, is very accurate to the point there's a light he come a light come from the empty tomb of Christ. You can go right now and search for the light coming from the tomb of Christ. So this is the Easter calendar. So according to the Easter calendar, if you go right now, 
uh, <coughs> and we type in Google Christmas uh, it is same and it's going to be it's going to be I was right actually it's going to be Tuesday January 7th Tuesday January 7th so you see the date of Christ is not attached to a number it's called 25 of December oh boy So that day, that day is not really important. And secondly, which is very important, if you are born, let us say, in January 1st, in the year of uh, uh, 2000, that January 1st will never come back. What does that mean? We know all of us that every four years, we have to add, there's a lab day, right? every three the fourth you know three days like because we have february so we have to add a day and that means in when you are 40 years old you are missing 40 days of the real birthday of yours you know what i mean because every few years we add a day to correct the calendar so which means if you celebrate in the in the same date which is, is your birth you are not celebrating your birthday there really i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying <laughs> You know, you know what I mean? Because that day is not really accurate no more. You have to do correction because the calendar you are using for your birthday is not accurate. Correct? So obviously the date is not really important. What is important is we are celebrating Christmas, Christ Day. This is not about anything. Uh, and about uh, Santa Claus, Santa Claus is a real person. He was a wonderful man and he is not a fiction. And this person, he is obviously have a mental illness. Uh, what else he said additional to christmas and uh, santa claus what he said <clears throat> anything else more he said i forgot uh, I, you know, I, I don't know if i forgot anything <clears throat> and then uh, we have the question what was the question of this uh, gentleman he asked me <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> this is what happens when you stay for long without sleeping and you're sitting in front of a computer for a long time. Uh, about the Jews, yeah, about the Jews. You see, my friend, first of all, it's a very wrong and a very uh, a wrong understanding to believe that the Jews rejected Jesus. The fact that Jesus, the Jesus, the Christ, the one we believe in, he came to us through the Jews. Who is the disciple of Jesus? Aren't they Jews? Who is Mary? She is a Jew. Who is Peter? I mean, uh, who is Paul? Who is, who is the disciples of Christ? We are talking about the Jews. So the first people who accepted Jesus was the Jews, not us. Not me as an Arab, not you as a Serbian, not you as, a, as an Englishman, not you as an American, not you as an Indian, it was the Jews. So we have to remember that the Jews did not reject Jesus. The fact the major number of the Jews already are Christians, what is left is a small number. After thousands and thousands of years of the Jews, there's not even, I don't know, 17 million. Why? Because there's a huge number of them, they became Christians. Secondly, when we support that the Jews take over Israel, it's not because they are Jews or not, but because this is their land. I mean, don't you believe in the Bible? Don't you believe that the Bible is saying the truth? Okay, the Bible is saying that this is their land. So how you can say, how you can, how you can deny it? You know what I mean? How we can deny it? Me as a Christian, I cannot deny that this is the land of the Jews. I remember once I was in the Middle East, I was in a history class. And the teacher, you know, as, as usual, uh, Muslims, he said, the Jews, they took Jerusalem from us. So I said, sir, I have a question. He said, here we go. Him again. So he said, what? I said, who, who is the one who built Jerusalem according to Islam? He said, the prophet David, and then after him, prophet Suleiman. <laughs> And then I said, and who, uh, and where, uh, and what is their religion? He said, they, they look at me. <laughs> he said, Jews. 
I just get busted. I mean, this guy is telling us that the, 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 the Jews, they took Jerusalem from us. And now I just ask him, who is the one who built this city according to Islam? He said, David and Solomon. And I said, and what is the religion? He says, Jews. I mean, do you see the stupidity? You just say that this is the city of the Jews. So why, why you are saying they took it away from you? If this is the Jews, let the Jews get, get what they build. They are the one who build it. All right? So the challenge is you being smart versus being stupid. It's us challenging ourselves. If a, it's a, it's a fool, if a fool he's speaking in front of us and we have weak knowledge and we are not willing to use our brain, like in you know, our brain have a lot of rust inside and we don't want to move it because simply that will hurt the brain. I mean, the engine is rusty for a long time. So what we do, we put our brain for sleep to avoid getting hurt with thinking. We are lazy. So I support Israel not because they are Jews. I support Israel because this is Israel. And Israeli have the right to be in Israel. The same as I say, the Serbian have the right to be in Serbia. Right? The same I say, Constantinia is not the land of Erdogan. The same I say, Cyprus is not the land of the Turkish. So we have to side with the truth. If USA and an American citizen occupy Iraq and, uh, and they say, this is our land, I will say, no, this is not your land. This is not true. This is the land of the Assyrian and the Chaldean, not even the land of the Arab. So always side with the truth, not with ethnic, not even with religion. You see, because if you side with a person just because he's a Jew or because he's a Christian, that's mean he may be, what, what if he's not fair? What if this person is not being fair? What if, what if he's wrong? You side with him just because he's a Christian? No, we don't do that. We side with the truth. It doesn't matter the truth belong to who. Right? As simple as that. So I do, I do really believe that Israel belongs to the, to the Israeli. It's called Israel. Even the Quran called it that. Allah, he says in chapter 5, verse 20, 21, Allah, he says, O Moses, go and take your people and take the land which Allah has assigned into you. Assigned into you. So even the book of Muhammad could not deny that this is the land of the Jews. What about the Bible? The Bible is all over saying this is the land of the Jews. And Jerusalem is the city of God, not only the land of the Jews. So we Christians, we have a duty to protect the city too. We are not out of the out of the of the duty. <clears throat> All right, let us see if we can take more calls from Skype. Uh... <coughs> Yeah, please tell me if you want. If you text me, you tell me if you want me to call you or you are just texting. Let us see. <coughs> okay, look like this person don't want to talk. All right. If you text me, please just say if you want to call. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes. Uh, brother Christian Franz, right? Yes, I am with you, my friend. Hello, brother. Merry, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, brother, uh, please look after your health as well. Don't worry, my health is good. 
uh yeah because you are spending a lot of time in uh, internet and you're talking a lot so please look after your health first yeah soon actually next week i hope i hope i pray i will be able to go uh, oh. there to, to to a different area just like you know doing some work in the same time i will be enjoying the sand and the beach escaping a little bit of the uh, uh, sitting behind the computer and uh, sitting all day because this is really hurt right i agree with you <laughs> okay brother and uh, one more thing uh, is there is any other way to donate other than patreon account uh, no this is the only way the only place we do accept donation okay brother. thank you thank you very thank much you. for your uh, dedication and uh, your uh, uh, authority uh, with the help of christ uh, anointing everything brother we love and uh, uh, we we keep you in our prayers Thank you. Thank God, you God bless you, and I pray for you too. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. <laughs> okay. I mean, this sky brink is annoying, isn't it? <laughs> but what we can do? Hello. Yes. Yes, good morning, Sibi. How are you? Good morning. Is it morning for you there? Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Where, where are you speaking from? Um, I'm from Indonesia. Ah, Indonesia. Okay. Uh, is it? It's cold there, right? No. It's, no? It's, uh, it's, um, it's rainy season, actually, but the humidity is uh, terrible. Mm, I don't know. According to the Arabian knowledge, that Indonesia is a very cold country and it is in Alaska, no? <laughs> okay, I'm wrong. Here. You're right. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. What do you like to say to us? <clears throat> um, I would like to thank you for all of your hard work. It's amazing and awesome. And um, for me, uh, Christmas is a time for giving to each other and to give love and to share the love as well. Thank you. I agree with you. Uh, no, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a human being, the best thing about him, that he is not a lonely creature. He is a social uh, family a person. And the family in Christ is big. You see, what Christ he does, yes. he made our family bigger than just a, a mother and sister and brother from our blood. Because actually sometimes mm -hmm. a stranger, he can be better and good for you more than all your family together. <clears throat> Yes, yes, you're right, and it's very true. Yeah. So thank you for calling, and I uh, wish you Merry Christmas, you and your family, and all the people of Indonesia. And uh, I'm going to uh, uh, ask Jibril to move his wings over uh, Indonesia <laughs> so that he can get you some, because he have, he have 600 wings, you know, so <laughs> I think that will work. <laughs> all right, take care. You want to say anything else? Okay, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Merry Christmas, bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. All right, we have somebody else we miss. <coughs> the Skype ring is the most annoying ring ever. Yes. Hello, my friend. We are here. We hear you. <clears throat> Hi, CB. Hi. Hello. H Hello. I hear you. Go ahead. <clears throat> oh, thank you very much. It's been my honor that you received my call. I would like to say Merry Christmas to you, CB. Merry this Christmas. This is from Zakirun. <laughs> Zakirun. <Zakernaik. laughs> No, it's Zakir Turun. Zakir Turun means uh, the brother of Zakir Naik. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I pray for you. I was really, really, you know, um, <laughs> you've done a lot for, for me, for myself, for my family, you know. Um, uh, I I will really, really want to help you doing that, but in my position, I could not do it because in my country, we cannot um, criticize Muslim mm. 
and if they know uh, who we are and we could get the side we will be very in very dangerous situation so yeah, i understand but but <laughs> if you i mean if you um provide some channels i mean um some maybe you have some a, a lot of people from all over the world want to help you maybe you have like um you know like um association something like that i would like very happy to join um changing information uh, making some articles or doing uh, you know uh, translation all right well i will i will i will be happy to uh, to have some people help but you can do that already without any association because you can create a website on the internet without oh, anyone who knows yeah, yeah, who yeah. are you and they are for free like wordpress you can create oh. an account for free and you make a website and you can post your article in your language and nobody know who you are okay okay uh, sorry cp oh, uh, one more thing right. my wife wants to say hi to you because sure. she loves you very much this is my wife all right Hello, CP. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. And yes, and then hope uh, the coming year will be uh, more wonderful to all over the world and more peace to all of us. Thank you, sister. I appreciate your call. Uh, just one question: uh, uh, Is your husband washing the dishes or not? Sorry. Is he washing the dishes or not? <laughs> no, no, no. He's not. He's not. Make him no, sleep without. No, we are doing the homework. <laughs> okay, make, make him not sleep without. Dinner. No, no dinner for him today. Then no dinner. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Have God a bless. good day and happy to you. Thank you, thank you, sister. God bless you. Thank you, you and your family. God bless you. Merry Christmas. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see if we have more. Man, that's endless. Look like I'm going to spend until tomorrow. <laughs> All right. <coughs> okay. I was trying to call it to see this person. <coughs> Well, all right, this person, maybe he cannot take our call, I don't know. Um, uh, you know, I don't know if I can take all the calls, really, there's too many. I really apologize, and I'm here for many hours already. And to be honest with you, my back hurt. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's set, uh, if you sit for a long time, okay, let's see this person. Uh, <clears throat> maybe this is the last call. Yes, my friend, go ahead. Hi, CP, how are you? I'm fine. I've been listening to you for a long time. I, I want to talk to you very bad. You're welcome, my friend. You're alive on air. What do you like to say? Uh, I would like to say Merry Christmas to you. Okay. May God bless you. <clears throat> and I would like to share my story a little bit about my story all right go ahead yeah um, <coughs> i'm from i'm from burma you know you know from Myanmar. Where? from germany no Myanmar, burma burma oh burma okay <coughs> yeah 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 I, I really like your your preaching you know okay uh, uh my whole family they were buddha so only me i'm a christian um and why, and why, why, you, why you became a Christian? As long as all your family, they were Buddha, how you became a Christian? Uh, because I came to the refugee camp, you know, uh, I, I was living with the, the people there, they were Christians, so I, I grew up, I grew up with them when, when I was young, mm -hmm. like at 10, when I was 10 years old, okay. I grew up in the Christian family, so I studied the Bible, mm -hmm. and then I feel like, 
Bible is the uh, Christian is the right religion. All right. <clears throat> yeah. And I, uh, a few months ago, I visited my family in Myanmar. Mm -hmm. uh, I I tried to explain to them about the Jesus Christ, but mm -hmm. it is hard. They they don't they don't accept it. Mm. You don't give up, my yeah. friend. Just keep trying, because you see. Yeah, I keep trying. I yeah. try to learn more from for you and more from the Sam Shemu, your David Wood. Yeah, I I watch a lot of that. All right, my friend. Well, education is good, uh, and if educa if yeah. our education. The best of our education, if we can save, I mean, at least we can save our family, right? So never give up yeah, exactly. and try to save them because you love them and you love everybody. But at least your family, the one who is there from your blood, uh, you know, it's going to be a joy that when we go to heaven, we will be together. Yeah. yeah. You know, all the, the village, the home people in my, the home, my relative, mm -hmm. they, they are all Buddha. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, this is the last time. The monk, the monk also my relative, you know, they, uh, I shy to go to the temple because I was, I'm, I'm Christian there, mm -hmm. monk, so I don't like, I don't, I don't want to bow down to them, you know, like that. Yeah, know? yeah, no, don't, don't bow down, to, wanna, don't bow down to wanna, idols, no. Uh, yeah. Do your family know, so now everybody knows that you are Christian? Yeah, they all know I'm Christian. Okay, yeah. are Sometimes they, they are they upset from you? Oh, oh. No, but they just make it fun on me like that. They mm. say, why are you watching something that you don't see? You know, like that. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I, also, I I had a friend a few years ago. Uh, they were Muslim. <laughs> I, I tried to talk to them about Christian. And they are very angry. You know? They yell at me, why you, talk, why you want to tell me about Jesus? Mm. They, they say, like, I, I said, I don't know because I feel like he's amazing. Uh, his preaching is uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. And then they told me that we know Jesus more than you, you know. I said, okay. At that time, I didn't know about Muhammad. They, they asked me, do you know about Muhammad? I said, no. Mm -hmm. And then I asked them, can you tell me about Muhammad? They said, Muhammad is an amazing person or something like that. And then, and then I asked them, why Muhammad's name is not in the Bible? And then they told me because the Christians they hate Muhammad, that's why they don't put it in the Bible. Mm. <laughs> and then later I, I come home and I do the research. I watched the David Wood. Mm. And then last year I watched I, I, I watched your videos since last year, I think. Okay. And then I, I was not man, this Muhammad guy is it's not like what they say, you know, it's totally different from what Yeah. Mostly well, they are bankrupt. Them. They are bankrupt, and they could not. They could not prove that Muhammad. Muhammad have no miracles. He have nothing. So the only way for them to make him look like he's a prophet to say that he is exists in our book. And the second you say to them where, they say to you the Christians, as you said, they took his name. Yeah. But the Bible is written, you know, uh, uh, six hundred years before Muhammad. So how we can take the name of Muhammad if he is not born yet at that time? That's, yeah, that right. is a silly argument. Yeah. Right now, I live in the, in the USA, you know. Mm. Okay. Uh, I have a church over here. I, 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 I go to the Bible study every Sunday. That's wonderful. Uh, but the people here, they, 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 they mostly are the same. They follow the Old Testament Bible. I said, I said that is insult too because mostly it had nothing to do. I mean, Islam, it had nothing to do with my Bible, you know. Yeah, Islam has nothing to do with Christianity. It's just a yeah. cult mm -hmm. trying to use a Christianity as a bridge to, uh, uh, you know, to to conquer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, my yeah, friend. For people... thank you for calling. Anything else you want to say? Go ahead. Sorry. Oh uh, yeah, some people over, over over here they don't know. Some Christians over here they think they think they are following the Old Testament Bible. I said no. Yeah, no. The Christians, it, most of them, they don't different. know actually. Yeah. Oh. Absolutely. Thank you, my friend, for calling. Okay. And, uh, I appreciate Thank your you call. So and say, yeah. and my so greeting awesome. to all the people of Burma and the Christian there too. Yeah, I will share your video. I will, I will keep listening. That later on, one day I can, I can talk to my friend. I can preach all about right. them mostly also because they are, uh, they have a lot, a lot of suffering. Remember, you see the new, mm. they kill mostly or something like that. I feel bad for them also. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, my friend, for okay. calling. Take okay. care. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye. Take care.
all right guys i think i'm going to stop receiving calls for today there's like maybe 50 60 people still try to call and more is coming <clears throat> um, so i think uh, that will be enough for today okay what is that one more Hello? 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 Yes. Mute you too, please. Christian, Christian Prince? Yes, it's me. Oh, hi. Hi. I just wanted to wish you Merry Christmas. Thank you. And I'm calling, I don't celebrate Christmas, I'm Jewish, but oh. I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate your show. And I've been watching it. Mm -hmm. I'm from Israel, Wonderful. and I, I tell everybody about you. Thank you. How much uh, you help us educate and expose these evil people that discriminated against the Jews and the Christians for so many thousands of years. Thank you. Thank you so much, and may God uh, bless you and um, watch over you. We pray for you, and you're always welcome to come to Israel. I will be you happy have my to, do, house I will, to stay. I will not be arrested. And, and, and be. <laughs> what? I, I will not be arrested. I'm an Arab. <laughs> it's okay. No, no. Nobody's going to arrest you. Come to Israel. You stay in my house. You you do whatever you want, like a king. Okay. Thank you. I, 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 I will text you if I'm coming. Actually, I would love to go to. But the reason I don't go. Okay. Happy, because, happy holiday to everyone. Yeah. And God bless you. Thank you. Get, uh, get the bless you. Take care. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Yeah, actually, I love to go to Israel, but I'm afraid if I go there, they will not let me get in, even if I have an American passport. But I mean, this is their country. I mean, I will not blame them if being worried about the person who is an Arab coming to Israel. I mean, you never know. So <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure if they will let me even get in, you know, especially I look like a terrorist. The first thing will, will happen when I go to Jerusalem in the airport um, I'm, I'm thinking about it this way like will be like maybe 20 30 uh, most sad agent around me what are you doing here huh okay uh-huh uh-huh so you want us to believe you uh-huh and you are a Christian too okay uh -huh. <laughs> and then they will check my computer they open the computer they find nothing but Muhammad And then they will put me in a in a, in a, in a in DHL or US uh, UPS and send me back to America. <laughs> so you are a Christian, but you have nothing. You your name in YouTube Arabian Prophet, okay? <laughs> and why your phone and your computer full of uh, jihad? And uh, are you a Hamas member? <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I want to say, guys, thank you for uh, all the love you share with me. I really appreciate you. I wish I can take more calls, but I'm getting really tired. I did not sleep good yesterday. I was doing a lot of work. So uh, we will go live on air. Uh, we will keep doing Christmas talk. I really enjoy talking to you. And I did not do that maybe, I mean, for a for, for long, long time, uh, because simply we try always. Uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry, guys, I cannot take really more call. I mean, that's, let me, let me log off Skype because this is English. I really apologize. <clears throat> I truly, truly, truly apologize. I hope you understand. <clears throat> so let us say I'm really happy that I heard all of you wonderful people I don't deserve all the things you give to me I am not worthy and I'm a very simple person uh, I don't do the I don't do what I do because I'm expecting people to say thank you I do it regardless what people say and actually usually Christians they go against me 
because many through years Christians they say to me the way you do it is not a Christian way but uh, <clears throat> I I always say to them well in your way how many Muslims they accept the Christ they come with zero so how my way is not the Christian way and a lot of Muslims accept the Christ right so you know like for long they try to put you down so Muslim they try to put you down Christian try to put you down and people sometimes don't understand you I mean because they've been taught that we as a Christians we should speak in a certain way we should be uh, I mean Christ-like and etc and uh, but you know look like people do not understand even Christ how he was Christ he went to the temple and he flipped the tables over the hypocrites so they are making the house of Elohim a house of buying and selling a business bazaar so uh, uh, you know they they have a, they, they've been taught in the churches uh, an image of Christ and certain image only so if you go out of this image you are no Christian and uh, uh, you know, like always, <clears throat> uh, the funny they say to you, you should not judge people, but they judge me. Uh, you should not judge, you know, but all what they do, they judge you. And uh, then uh, what about you judge the fruits? You know, you see, uh, you know, there is millions of people. They are watching my videos, learning. Christians, they used to be, de you know, like defenseless because they don't have the, the source to refute this cult, which is using the Bible and using the name of Christ to deceive. So we cannot just close our eyes and say, uh, we know we are Christian, we should not speak about this. Uh, you go to church, the priest, he don't want to talk about Islam, okay? You go to school, the school will teach you wrong about Islam. You open TV, the TV lie about Islam. You listen to your president, he says Islam means peace. So how your children will learn? Who is going to tell the truth? And if the one who shared the truth is not a Christian, so who is the Christian then? Who is the Christian? The Christian is the one who shakes his head, whatever people say. The Christian is somebody is politically correct. So they put you down, they try to humiliate you, they try to insult you. They try to make your image look bad, uh, hoping that your mission will not function. And sometimes the devil himself he put in your way. Evil people who even they think they are Christians, but the fact they are just rocks in your way. So they can disturb you and they can stop you. So my friend, I say I'm no one. I'm not a priest. I'm, I cannot even say I'm a good person. I cannot say that I am maybe I'm the worst between you. But I can say one thing, I'm a believer, and I'm a strong believer, and I'm very faithful in what I say to you about this cult and about my belief. I will never lie to you about it. I will never fabricate information. And everything I say, I show it in the screen. I show the reference. You read it with me. And even if you don't speak the language, sometimes we use a stupid Google translation. So I'm very grateful for all of you. I'm grateful for those who made uh, a donation. I really appreciate you. Those who support us in Patreon, those who download the videos, and those who called us, and those who want to call more. And maybe tomorrow, if I, if, if I can, I will go live again, and we will do the same. Because I really enjoy today. It was like a, a taking a break from this cult. Uh, it's tiring to stay all those hours without moving behind the computer, uh, but it's lovely to hear all of you. There's many people I don't know you. I mean, I never heard your voice before, uh, and I would love to, to hear your voice, and you tell me what you think about what we are doing. So thank you very much. I, you know, I really am out of words to, to, to thank you. Uh, and I say, I pray that the Lord always will provide us with wisdom, and uh, you know, I noticed that some of the callers, they are uh, uh, affected by, uh, you know, let us say some of us, they don't have uh, ability to to be able to refute or to answer or to think about some people saying things to them, so they can be under the influence easy. 
those people I ask you please to help them to uh, you know if you know a person like our friend here our brother who called me and he said somebody he hurt him and he almost he cry that he told him that uh, if you celebrate Christmas you will go to hell etc if you know a person like this this person he need, need a friend a stronger friend who can always hold him from his hand so nobody and I'm not talking literally I'm talking about somebody can be a supporter so he can strengthen strengthen him because you know not all of us are the same not all of us are we we have the same uh, ability to to face the evil of this earth or in this world so if you see a person he need your help don't just sit and watch you know help don't say none of my business you know because that it might happen to one of your children those who need help we should help them i want to say thank you again may the lord bless you and christ is lord everything else is false merry christmas i hope to see you tomorrow and thank you very much take care